we've got Nikki here, we've got uh, Zippy here, um, we've got me, let's get going. Hello, how are you? I know it's a Tuesday, I don't normally stream on a Tuesday, but Hatchy Poos ain't on today because he's doing dad taxi duties. And I thought, well I've got some spare time, so why the fuck not? And we've got Commander Johnny, good day dude, hello and how are you? I hope you feel better soon Nikki. I hope it's nothing too bad mateys. I hope it's nothing too but awesome. Um, but yes, I'm here, I'm hi, hello, how are you? We're um, not far from our waypoint, which is the DSA fleet carrier. Although Tucker can't make it until Friday, so I might try and hold off until Friday stream before I do the, the great big sell-off. Well, the moderately big, well, the slightly big, bit of a sell-off of the XO data. Take my day, where'd my hour go? <laughs> you lost it, dude, you lost it. Oh, what have we got on there? Uh, back to the stratum, woohoo, back to the stratum, yay. Hey Mac, how can I dude? How bees? Nice to see you to see you nice. But I have now put the new hard drive into the old PC. Touch wood. That's me knocking on wood. Um the, it, it does the pro it solves the problem and I don't get any more blue screens. But we shall have to wait and see. Time will tell as they say in Guatemala. I think they sell it anywhere in the world, but you know, we'll use Guatemala because why not? Yes. They have worked out that on the Restream bot, you can get it to combine the chats from both YouTube and Twitch. But double checking it, YouTube and uh, Twitch say, yeah, no, you can't do that. You can stream to multiple sources, uh, that's fine, but you can't combine the chat from the sources. And this is like, oh, fuck's sake, make your county mind up. you got to keep them separate because we're special. Hey, Dirty Bagger, good day, mateys. They're on the old tube reviews. Hi, nice to see you. To see you. Nice, I can see you. Hi. Oh, dear. Oh, we've got the lovely Alexa here. She's off the limb sip. Hopefully, she's feeling much, much better. Confusing Tuesday mornings. I had both the YouTube and Twitch streams on, but forgot to meet the YouTube stream. 26 behind the double toady voice. <laughs> sorry, Johnny. Sorry, dude. Thank you for being on the old YouTubes as well. When I checked uh, yesterday, and I'm going to double check it again now. Oh, look, you use my big hugs one. Yay. Uh, let me double check it again. Yesterday, it was 1,087 watch hours. That's what I was on yesterday. Warm space is here. Good day, dude. Hello and how are you? Nice to see you. See you nice. Uh, Alexa's off for Dirty Lurky. Okay, so 1,085 watch hours. I must have missed... Maybe it was, I miss, misread it or something. I don't know. But we're on 1,085 watch hours now and I need 3,000. So we're just under 2,000 to go, which is woohoo! Cool beans. Lovely job, please. If it helps, as they say in, um, in um, Guatemala. Uh, oh, you, you made Alexa wake up. Made Alexa wake up. Oh, it's a 0.41 G, so we better be careful the old gravity before we um, get down and um, prang ourselves badly. You're only looking on YouTube. Oh, okay, cool. No worries. Cheers. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, you're looking on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. I say, if you're going to look on YouTube, I really do appreciate it. I would suggest you put the quality to the bare minimum, which I think is 144p, and then mute the actual tab. That way it doesn't interfere too much with your bandwidth, and um, you don't hear me twice. So I have to go to Peter to put <laughs> tape pegger. Yeah. I, am, I don't think that would be very good. And I'm sure uh, PC World would not appreciate me uh, being all on all their PCs. Ouch. Oh, it didn't change the thingy cheeky. Oh, I know why, because voice attack's not running for some stupid reason. I ran that earlier. It crashed. Voice attack must have crashed. I wonder why it wasn't doing what it's supposed to be doing. Oh, you bugger. I'm busy adding jump fuel, except at the moment uh, you can't. You can get stuck in certain systems. Uh, but do you not have the fuel rats in warp space, dear? Do you not have the fuel rats? I know, Zippy. I know, dude. But um, 
it saves you in your bandwidth, doesn't it? And I, you know, I don't need to sort of waste your bandwidth like that. So keep still, Bruce. There you go. No rats yet. Okay. Well, other than the rats that live on the ship, I'm getting. Right, we'll do the old bacterium first. Uh, no, I didn't, because uh, the simple reason it was cheaper for me to stay with Virgin than to move. I did, Johnny, yes. You can use the composition scanner to uh, get a codex Bacterium entry or potential codex entry from the biologicals and geologicals credits. as well you can do. It also works on the SRV. Fantastic, ready? There you go. Oh, wrong one, Bruce. Didn't want that one. Go away, Bruce. So in your fire groups, I've got the data link and I've got the comp scanner. Uh, ah, you, live, you live and learn. G'day, lucky. G'day, dude. Hello, and how are you? It comes to be luckies. Oh, that tea's going down well. You are outside the first sample range. Yes, it is. Right, yeah, you got you, 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 you play games, you learn, don't you? That's the great thing about watching a stream, is that you can see something you didn't know. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I learn things from watching other people, so you know. It's all good. It's all good. I'm not too bad, thank you, dude. I'm not too bad. I had a weird night again. I woke up in the early hours and then tried to go back to sleep. I just lay there and end up in like a half wake, half asleep funk. And then it was half past six. So, yeah. But the be lucky, the new hard drive is installed. It is running on the new hard drive. And um, we shall see how it goes. I put that in yesterday. A walnut whip, who are? A Tuesday stream, yes, a Tuesday stream. Well, Hatch isn't on today. He's doing dad uh, taxi duties for Cargo Hatch. Um, he said he might be on this evening, but it depends on, you know, how things go and whatnot and whether he's, he's got the energy, etc. Bloody, bloody, bloody. So I thought, well, I've got a bit of a blue centre day um, for now, for now. Um, so I thought, fuck it, I'll stream. You are outside Ouch. the second sample range. Because the galaxy will not explore itself. We go, that one's closer there. Right. Yeah, what I try and do is, is if I can, I can, I'll find the last bio that I need, which is the back team on the left, and the first of the next um, pilot you'll need, which in this case is a stratum on the right. It's a delight, ST. Didn't expect to see. Well, thank you, dude. Thank you. And it's nice to see you too, all of you. All of you. Every single one of you. Well. Yeah, every single one of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. So you got me for several hours today until I decided to turn in. Right, that's the tea done. Now I have got Life of Land. Yeah, Life of Land to, to stream, um, which is like a, a city, like a city building game. I did try it the other day on Sunday, and the tutorial was a little bit. In places, so I had to YouTube that. But yes, um, I, I'm going to try and do that Tuesday, uh, not Tuesday, Thursday evenings. Not during the day, but in the evenings. I'm going to try and do a Thursday evening stream, about 5 p.m. ish, maybe for a couple of three hours. It depends how I feel and how things go. Hey, DB, good day, good day. Nice to see you on the old tube of views. Wow, well, did I not? No, I didn't, did I? I didn't, did I? So I got the back team and we got back in the ship again, didn't I? Um, not too short to do today. Hope you're doing well. Um, bit of finger banging, Nikki. Bit of genital tasing, maybe. You're streaming today, I guess. Feel it, are you feeling up to streaming? Eight bit army to try. Oh, okay, cool. 
You have to let me know what it's like. Because that's the same people who did uh, CNC, wasn't it? 10, 000, Old Westwood guys. Credits. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, cool. You have to let me know, dude. I, I have had a look at it and thought, Ooh. maybe, maybe, possibly, maybe. I don't know. It was on sale. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. Hey, well, if you don't feel it, dude. The, the way I look you at it, the way I do it myself is, range. if I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, do I, don't I, do I, don't I, you know, if I'm in that sort of frame of mind, I generally err on don't, and that's, but that's just me personally. I'm not telling you not to, but I'm just, you know, we're just having the old chinny wag here. Um, if I have to sit there and start thinking about, oh, do I really feel like streaming today? Do I, do I? If ever, I just don't. You know, I, I've had it days before, when I've got everything open, everything ready, I'm going onto Twitter to do the tweets and I'm looking at it and I go you know what nah. and I just shut it all down so but if you want to go and stream go stream and I'll drop you a dirty lurkies okay, don't worry about that I'm sure a few lot of us will come on uh, sit there and watch you and lurk and whatnot with your, you, you do a rather fun stream, you do. Rather, rather fun. But if you don't feel like it, dude, you know. Don't feel bad about it either. If you don't want to do it, you know, you've got to look after you. You know, at the end of the day, you're the only one who's going to look after number one. So, need more tea. You, oh, is that a coffee? You need more coffee, okay. I'm going to have another tea soon. What have you had? Three cups today, three mugs of tea. I tried threads instead of X and it's a bit of a bit of booby and I don't understand it. Well the other problem is is threads is um old Facebook, isn't it? Old meta. <laughs> Be lucky, you have to laugh and That's the other problem with it. It's, it's just an extension of meta. And um I would have thought myself, you know what? No. They're bad enough with all the data scraping they do. Not that you know, other companies don't do data scraping, but uh, old meta are like one of the worst. I mean, how many other companies are being hauled up in front of Congress? You know, just saying. But how's the old DB today? You, you well, dude? You good? Nice to see you. Uh, I do appreciate all the dirty lurks on the old uh, YouTube channel. It's much, much appreciated, peeps. Right, so we're done here. I need to go back to Planet 2 because it's a Terry and I forgot the other night it was a Terry. Off we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Bow, 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 bow. You're playing Power World? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, never, never, never sort of, you know, struck me as a thing I wanted to do old Power World. That's the great thing about games, there's so many different types of games out there, you can normally find something that floats your boat, which is awesome sauce. Junks is in the house, hello dude, how are yous? you? Well, welcome in dude, welcome in. How you doing? You well, you good? Nice to see the Junks. ba 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 da ba ba I are good. Cool, cool. Um, what about visible light spectrum? Is the visible light spectrum good as well? I mean, I know we've read it good, but you know, you didn't think you like it. It was gifted to you, and here I am, five or fifty hours later. Well, that's a double bonus then. A, it didn't cost you anything, and B, you enjoy it, which is awesome. Nice one, dude. Nice ones. Bow, bow. Oh, I've got a parcel to keep an ear out for as well, and a watch out for. I have ordered a four-pound loaf tin, which arrives sometime today before 10 p.m. Yet yeah, not long for Planet Crafting out, which is next Wednesday. Uh, I don't know what time it goes live. 
So what I'm going to do next week is Wednesday I'll do a normal Elite Danger stream. But my mate Slim, Slim Gaming, he also likes Planet Crafter. And he said to me, well, do you fancy doing a multi-stream of multiplayer Planet Crafter on the Friday? So I said, yeah, right then. We can do that. And then I still would do another stream another day where people like, you know, DB, Dietrich, and people that I know, if they want, we can make a multiplayer game that I'll host on the stream. And then we can just mess around with it for maybe a couple of hours in an evening or something. We'll do that periodically if people are up for that. And I've completed Planet Crafter in the closed beta as well. So I have seen the end. And I won't spoil it though. I will not spoil it. At the beginning of the year, Meta puts aside millions of dollars just to pay for the data breach fines. Yeah, I know, Johnny's. I know. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if that's true. I wish it would get warmer as well. It's, yesterday was a weird day. It started off quite warm and then it started pissing down and got cold. And now it's quite chilly. It's April, it should be getting warmer, not colder. Yes. Bow, 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 ba bow, ba ba da ba da ba da bow. I do like the old Planty Crafter. The only thing with that game is because it's it's fixed. It's not procedurally generated or anything. Other than starting in different locations and changing some of the start conditions like randomised ores and stuff like that. I'm wondering how much replayability there is in it. You know? I certainly do some stuff with it on stream. Yes, I need to revisit that as well because it's got the uh, 2.0 out now, isn't it? Yes. I use good aim. Do you know how are you? Waiting for a parcel, waiting for four rolls of PLA, super happy with the mo. Oh, really? Oh, wows. They put your Sonic pad. What's that then do you use? What's the Sonic pad do? Daughters would have made me wait for my birthday, which I thought was cruel. Cool. Ah. Ah. So, what's the Sonic pad then? It's, it's not nothing to do with Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm guessing. Bow, bow, bow. I need to do more 3D stuff. I need to do some printing. But I kind of... A, I needed to put up a shelf, which I've now done. So that's no excuse. I've tidied up the desk. Oh, that's no excuse. I now have a new hard drive in the old PC, which will hopefully touch wood. Stop it blue screening. Which was the other thing that was stopping me from doing the old painting streams. So. Uh, wait, buying that for that amount of money. It's not available and unlimited, so that can jog on. I don't know. I don't know if you saw this um, the other day. Uh, use. I don't know if I showed you this or anything. You saw it anywhere that I discorded it, but I'm gonna get that. Trip itself to that. It speeds up the print, uh, printing two times to five times. You can uh, connect to it via browser. Ten files to it from Cura. Oh, okay. So how does it speed up printing times then? If that's not a silly question. You fixed the black screen issue, fingers crossed. I think it was Firefox acceleration crashing the GPU. Oh, okay, cool. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, that's coming in a minute. They were early. They, hang on, they shouldn't be coming this early. Oh, I think it's a change again on the old thing with jiggies. Let's check the old um, things. Hang on a minute. Did it change the schedule somehow? Because it should only do it every hour. Because um, it started four minutes a minute after I started, where there's virtually nobody here, and that includes the pre-rolls for an hour. 
You're waiting on a thermostat for your printer. Oh, wow. You have to do a few calibrations which determines how fast the printer can accelerate and move the axis. Oh, okay. All right, fair enough. Well, mine doesn't. Mine is relatively quick anyway, so I think I won't mess with mine. Um, can I? I don't know if I can. Do, 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 do. Hang on. Ah! Ah. Ow. Hey, Angie. G'day. Big hugs. How was? Just having a mess thing, mess with it. See if I can get it to, um. All right, so that's set there, but then the, 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 the frequency. Let's try that and see if that does anything. See if that changes anything. I should only do it every so often now. Because when I redid the hard drive, things messed up with Twitch and... Uh, we might get, the ads might be a bit over the place today. We'll have to see how it goes. Because when it loses the cookies on Twitch, it messes things up. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So every time I the cookies, I lose the cookies. Oh, thank you, thank you, Zippy. When I go into the Twitch stream manager, there's all these things like you know these new things they've added in, and it's like, oh fuck's sake! I've cleared them all before, and anything I put on my quick actions get removed. It never saves anything. It's just such a fucking pain in the ass, and you have to go through and reset things up again. The life and struggles of a streamer, eh? So if the ad schedules were a bit messed up, uh, apologies. Ah, but how are you doing, Angie? I'm guessing it's uh, early hours of the morning over where you are still. I'm guessing they might be going back to have a nap soon. Or that or you've got up extra early for work. That's a lovely gift. Oh, you got 12. Oh, yes, yeah, so I did try and fix that again, but um, it didn't work. And I'm waiting for Hatch to maybe have a look at the command for me to see if he can work out what I've broken on it. Yeah, that shouldn't be... Oh, that's fucking going to annoy me now, isn't it? A 12. It should be saying give you a 12. Yeah, but oh, I have to look at the command. Right, I tried to give out some good. Yes, hey, before you do that, Lucky, before you do that, let me have a quick look at the bot because I changed things and I need to just adjust something quickly. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, dude. How old you all Before you start, dude. Before you start. Before you start. I need to fix something quickly. Um, going to there, going to that, that one I want, that one. Right, edit that, and then on the chat message, do that and save it. And on that one. Actually, I don't know if I changed it on the... Um, let me just try something quickly. Yeah, yeah, get started. Why can't I give a bad gift? Pass me the message with the wall. It's trying to go. Uh, okay, it won't let me... I can't give my own bad gifts. Hang on a minute. Let me refresh and see if it will work when I refresh. Give a bad gift. 
I, I can't press enter. Okay. That worked. Okay, for, yeah, that worked. Okay, so that one doesn't need to change, so we can leave that one. Right, but a good gift should work nicely now. Oh, what a palaver. You try and make things better, and then you end up making them worse after time. But the good gift should work okay now, dude. It's just really laggy, that was. It was really laggy. Oh, no, 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 lucky. No, no, dude, it's not you. It's not you, dude. It's me. It's me. Not you, dude. It's not... No, that's no, it's me. It was, I was trying to do things to make it work in a better way and stop giving so many random gifts out. And I haven't got it quite working. So that's a, a me thing, not a you thing. So I know I saw that. I saw that dude. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake, seriously. There you go. That works, see? That works nicely. What I was doing in the text file, I was putting in the whole bit, so-and-so gives so-and-so a thing. And I thought to myself, I don't need to do that. So I took that bit out on the good gifts, but didn't do it on the bad gifts. So. Demon stuff. Okay. We haven't got any bacteria or biologicals in here. A giant curly word. Who you lucky bastard? Oh, um, okay. So we have no blue diamonds or orange diamonds. Um, and I did fix the blue diamond. So now it just does this. I only get the one. Just the one, Mrs. Wembley. There you go. Just the one, Mrs. Wembley. This is between 5 and 22 mil, so that is on the seat. There you go, that one there. We should have a butcher's and see if it's worth more than 20. If it isn't, I might just go down and get the valuable ones. Just to annoy other people when they come along maybe later on. Ah, oh, cheers, dude. Oh, what's that from use? Yeah, you showed me that a while back, dude. You showed me that a little while back. Um. Some of the audio that uh, for Alice saying, you know, so thoughtful, whatever. I think that I haven't got them quite right. I think some of them are at different volumes. I have to re I check them later. Yeah, 12 is in the chocolate bar. You know, not as in a 12, you know. Yeah, the chocolate 12. That was a nice present. Uh, Oh, another TV. You lucky bastards. You lucky, lucky, lucky bastards. What a lovely gift. Oh, a chocolate chip cookie. Ba, 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 ba. A master chef, the uh, amateur, started last night. Which is a uh, cause that's on for the next uh, several weeks. Which would be yay! I do like a bit of the old Master Chef. Interesting to see who's going to win and stuff. Ba 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 da ba ba. Ah. Do, 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 do. See, I don't know how long I'll be on for today, but we'll go on for a while at least, you know. Yes. I because I TiVo it typically, or you know, DVR it, whatever you want to call it, I record it. Um, I kind of a lot of the times I would skip over um, the bits where they're actually doing the cooking. And they're talking to Greg or John or whoever. And I just, sometimes I'll just skip to where they do like the, um, the critique of the food. What a lovely gift. 
Hey Dan, how good I dude? How be it's nice to see you see you nice. Welcome in, welcome in. That was a nice present. It's not half the time, it's, they're waffling about this and now I thought like, I can't be asked. Let's just see what the food's like, you know, what they get, you know, the review. You just skip the whole show. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, it's not your cup of tea. Who remembers the original Master Chef with Lloyd Grossman? Um, I had no, I, I I watched some of the Inside the Factory. Um But I was, I didn't watch much of it. Some of them were okay. I just never really got into watching it. Ooh, okay, so we've got Tubus on here, which is worth 11 million. Everything else is worth a pittance. Right, so let's go get me Tubus and then we'll fuck off. Oh, be Jeff. G'day, dude. Hello and how are How are you? You well, you good? Nice to see you. Nice. Because there wasn't there some controversy about some comments he made on one episode. And then he turned around and said, um, oh, yeah, I'm stepping back for it so I can spend more time with my family or something. Oh god, I love spitting image back in the day. You know, spitting image. Not the reboot they did recently, but the original spitting image. So. Oh, dude, cool. It's good to hear. It's good to hear. You're in a bit of the old uh, Pokemon, eh? I'll get them all. There was only that was only on stupid shit box that should be free for the UK. Well, you know, <clears throat> they put the reboot behind the paywall. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's ITV. Well, don't forget it's ITV and the BBC. It's not just the BBC. Don't blame just them, blame ITV as well, because they're partners in it. Uh, the old Brit box. I watched some bits on YouTube, and it wasn't very good. It really wasn't very good at all. It, had, it didn't have the same bite that the original spitting image did. <laughs> Yeah, but don't blame you know, blame um, ITV as well. Don't blame just one. Blame both. They're both responsible for it. Bow, 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 bow. I've been playing Fantasy Star Online two new Genesis, but haven't not been sure they like, not felt like dreaming. Dude, if you've not felt like it, it's best not to, because if you're not enjoying yourself, your viewers won't either. So. Um, get yourself you know, to a place where you feel happy and comfortable doing it and go for it, mate. You go for it. I know, Mech. I know. I know. Oh, did they? Oh, I don't know. I didn't know they did that. Okay. Well, in that case, blame... Um, well, you, you just have to blame ITV to some degree because it was them and BBC who basically launched the old brick box, didn't they? Uh, Ouch. Gotcha. Oh, okay, right. Fair enough. I'm guessing that's because the BBC have got more uh, reach worldwide with BBC Worldwide, BBC America. So play my TV for the UK version in Junks. Yeah, okay, there you go. I'm only going to get the two bus because it's worth 11 mil. The other three I'll leave because they're worth nothing. Well, they're worth a million. -ish. Carvers is worth 11 million yeah. 873,200 credits. But I, so I watched a couple of bits and pieces on the old YouTubes and it wasn't very good at all. It really wasn't. Um, I think they do, or they've got a big stake in it as well. Oh, 
apart from have I got news for you, we're missing some good hearted in satire. I know, Lucky, yeah, I do so love watching Have I Got News For You. Old um, Hislop and Merton. They are so good. And the fact they've been doing it for so long. And I, I don't know if they're friends off camera at all, but the fact that the two of them have been on there since the show started, they've got that chemistry. Um, and you know the fact that they're both still there now is a testament to you know, their you working relationship. The sample range. I've had cops at your door. <laughs> well, if you don't watch TV at all, I mean, I guess the family do. I get most probably, but if you don't, yeah. Ah, fuck it, it's Auto Land. Auto Land for the win. Hey Dietrich, good day dude. I don't even have to look at that Dietrich. That's how he announced himself, didn't it? Hello Dietrich, how are you doing? Never the list you did, uh, did, I don't recall that thing of mine. Um, was he done it again to you? No date the visits, yeah. Oh there it is to my right. Think that they have a good screen off screen relationship. If I was playing which ten guests would you leave right at the end of the on list? Yeah, yeah, totally, totally, yes. Windy and raining. Well mine's um cloudy and uh dry. One more tuba so we can ski daddles. Um, it was a weekend. <laughs> it was a weekend. How thoughtful. I streamed, I did housework, I did cooking. It was just like a normal weekend, dude. It was, yeah, it was average. Hopefully yours is nice. You had a good one. You are outside the second sample range. Do, 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 do. I do need to keep an eye on the old uh, Amazon delivery thing, with Jiggy. It's dispatched, but it's not out for delivery yet. You wanted a couple more grass today, but it's raining. Oh, can't you just move the cows into the area and get them to cut the grass for you? You know, all naturally. They could do it whatever the um, the weather is, can't they? Rain or sign, shun. Rain or shun. It's rain or shine, even. The hatch effect is taking hold. Or get some sheep, or get some goats, and get them to cut the grass. Yeah, strangely, I don't have that on here as a command. Now, we actually do have a fair bit of tussiki wussik around here. Um, should we do all the bio? I suppose I should do all the bios now, I mean, shouldn't I really? I think we'll do all the bios, it might take much longer. I hate garden, but I'd rather cut grass and clean up cow pats. You see, you don't clean them up, you see, you let them degrade into the ground and act as natural credits. fertilizer. So, you, you know, that's the way you do it. Should have got in the buggy really, but never mind, never mind. <laughs> you have left the first sample range. Hey Jetamar, good day dude. Nice to see to see you nice. Hope you're all hope you're good. But yes, I definitely want to go back and look at the old um, Spaceborn, see what they've done to the update. I don't know whether it'd be worth restarting as a, a brand new save on old Spaceborn, Spaceborn 2. Um, don't know. 
You are outside the first sample range. You are outside the second sample range. Cool beans, lovely jubblies. Um, am I over there though? Ah, dynamic Janet. Uh, I don't know, but I like to smell a cow pats. I've got sort of farmers spent the other days helping out. Yeah. Weird, isn't it? The way um, things like that, that affect you. Nice one of my favourite YouTube videos is one you where the girl touches the electric uh, fence and it's face. No, Zippy. No. Oh, dear. I bet um, that got quite a few views. Spaceball, Jason's cousin. Yes, it is. It is yes, it's Jason's cousin. You are outside the first sample range. Right, we've got that one. Don't piss him off, whatever you do. You can say piss in here, dude. Don't have to, you know, sense yourself. At least I think you have to sense yourself like that. It's an actual bodily function, after all. We'll get the old bacteria and then we'll do this stratum afterwards. <clears throat> it's only about 15 mil, but you know, while we're here, whilst, whilst in Paris. Bit of extra cash in it. Not that I need extra cash, but you know. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it, dude? It's weird. Weird. Bacteria Morris is worth. But then it's all down to credits. the company you keep in it. You know, you're a different company, you act differently. There's a place and a time for it. I wasn't going to do the others, was I? But fuck it. Ba -da -ba -ba. I might have to have a play with the old um, ad settings on it. You are outside the first sample range. Here's me deals. But the next one it says here, um, it's going to be every 45 minutes at the moment, but we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. I'll have to, it's one of these things I might have to keep, um, adjust on the fly, as it were, just to get a nice balance. Because unfortunately, as we all know, whatever you do with Twitch or YouTube, ads are going to play. Well, YouTube's a bit different, but you know, with Twitch at least, there's no way apart from subbing or Twitch Turbo that you can stop the ads. It's a pain in the dead air, but it's one of those things you've got to live with. But I noticed they did do something um, different where you, you don't see the whole ad on the screen anymore. They do these things called stream display ads. Stream display ads are 15 second video ads that appear on channels before or during a live stream. Viewers are able to see and hear the creators while these ads are displayed, which is a better way of doing it in my book. It just appears on the lower third of the screen. So it doesn't interrupt anything, but the ad still gets played. So the ad advertiser gets, you know, visibility, but you don't lose anything when you're watching the stream, which I think is the best way of doing it, rather than going full screen. So. You have left the second sample range. Full beans, lovely jobs. Oh, I might be able to get right there. That might be good, that might be good. Yeah, definitely, 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 yes, yes. Yeah. It's a win-win for everybody that way. At the end of the day, not everyone can afford to sub or do Twitch Turbo or wants to necessarily on a particular stream. 
Can I get the old strap over there? And it's weird, I think, that with TV, no one really moans about ads on TV apart from the theatre's really shit. We kind because of, we've grown up with ads on television. Is worth it just become a, you know, a normal credits. thing, but with online stuff like YouTube, Twitch, etc., people complain about them. It's weird. At least I think it's weird anyway. Well, it's great, so it's a uh, six pound per minute ad or not to have ads on Sky Q. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. Six pound per month, should I say? Six pound per month. I wonder how many people have actually bothered taking it up. Because ads on TV just don't bother me in the slightest. I'll either mute the, mute the TV or I will fix you another channel where the there aren't ads playing. Range. Or, invariably what I, I do, is the ads come on, I pop on something that I've recorded on the, the TV box, the Virgin TV box, and I watch that while the ads are on. Hey, be lucky, welcome in on the old uh, tube use. I've got so many things that I record that I watch later that I can watch, be watching something live as it were, ad pops on, I go to whatever something I've recorded, I start watching that for a few minutes, and I don't know how I do it, it's just an innate timing. I can invariably, a good 85, 90% of the time, stop what I'm watching on the recording and come back to the live program just as, you know, like they normally do like a little trailer ads or something, just as the program kicks back in again. Sometimes I get it a little bit off, but a good 85, 90% of the time, I get it just right. That's like if you have a prime sub, they expect you to pay for more. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just terrible. Terrible. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you order, if you ordered a lot of stuff on Amazon delivery wise, and you're saving money on the delivery fees, Amazon Prime makes worth well sense because otherwise you're paying extra delivery fees. Yeah. But if you're not getting the benefit of the free deliveries and you wanted it for the Amazon videos, yes, I can see why you'd want to cancel it. Totally. Totally and utterly. Right, we're, um, we're done with this place, aren't we? We're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. Oh, no, we need one more strand, one more strand. So I order enough on Amazon that I get the benefit for having the free delivery. Exactly, Mecca, exactly, yeah, totally. And the, the video is just a bonus. Which actually not too bad if it's a pop up, but the full ones. You have left yeah, I know. Range. Yeah. There's some, like with any adverts, there's some on Twitch that just really, really annoy me. I don't know if you remember the Samsung um, M2 drive one, where the guy was basically just having like a, I don't know, going waxing lyrical about how good it's all the thing, you had all the things popping over the screens. <laughs> I'm wrong in the head, I'd rather pay more than buy from Amazon. Hey, dude, no, you're not wrong in the head. It's just the way you prefer to do things, mate. That's all. Nothing wrong in that at all. It's just your your choice. And there's nothing wrong in that. Nothing wrong in that at all, dude. And the vast majority of people buy from places like Amazon because it's convenient. That's it. You know, you get a relatively good price. It gets delivered to your door or to a local pickup point or something. And you don't have to go out anywhere. So, hey Wolf, good day, dude. Welcome in and how are's? Nice to see you. To see you, nice. How's your channel points looking, Lucky? Are they a bit more healthier now? You not have to spend two hundred and fifty points at a time. Oh, yeah, it can be, Wolf, it can be, yes. Yeah. 
And the other thing you also need to remember with Amazon is that it's not necessarily Amazon selling the product. There's lots of merchants who use Amazon as a storefront. And in some cases, Amazon will store the goods. Um, other times, they won't. So you know, occasionally, it will come directly from the merchant who's selling that good via Amazon's website. So... It's just because it's got Amazon and you're buying it from you know the Amazon web page, it just gets flagged as Amazon in people's heads. That's why sometimes it doesn't come via Amazon's courier, it comes by a third party courier. Um invariably Irvy or Hermes or Yodel. Yeah, you know, Hobie's went to Irvy and then you still got Yodel, yeah. That's right. Uh, I know, I know. But then the same thing happened after the Titanic disaster with um, White Star Line, which became... Did they... Who did they become? Didn't they become Cunard or something? Well, White Star rebranded themselves with a new name to get away from the uh, disaster of the Titanic. Because I'm sure they went... They went was it Cunard and then p &O? Same thing happened after the Zibuga ferry disaster as well. They changed land names. Yeah, you said about that the other day, Mecca. Which that'd be funny. And why are they rebranding to Platform X? Why do they need to rebrand? Have they got such a bad name as being shit or something? Oh, cheers, Zippy. I just saw that on the old um, Discord. This video is age restricted, only available on Newton. Really, really, YouTube, really. It's age restricted, so you can't watch it embedded in a in Discord or something. Are they really? Oh, okay. I don't know. I mean, I'm with um, O2. I've never used Talk Talk. I've had Vodafone, um, Virgin, and I'm on O2. Hey, Blues in the house. We've got one of the uh, the Blues Brothers here. Clearly some clever arsy marketing thought we brand would make people forget. Well, they don't know that's the thing, do they? I mean, I still call X Twitter. And lots of people still call it Twitter. So You've got cheap, talk, talk, cheap ball band. Last two years being way more reliable because the version never was. But then that's weird though, isn't it, a wolf, in that, you know, I, I've got Virgin, which has been ultra reliable. Yeah, other people like yourself have had Virgin, it's been a bit shit. And then other people have had talk talk and it would have been shit. It's, you know, it's always like that with any service you get. Some people have good experiences, some people have bad experiences. But going back to the old Virgin thing someone asked me earlier. Um, yes, um, I could have got a better broadband fibre to premises for about 35 quid. 500 up and down, which I don't need, but you know. But with the other services I've got with Virgin, like the, the, the TV, um, the mobile, because Virgin O2 kind of merged, didn't they? And the landline, it would have cost me more money than I got with a deal with Virgin. So. Because I got them to reduce it down by about 40, 50 quid. And because it's a bundle deal, I get discounts everywhere. Whereas if I'd gone with um, the fibre people and kept the other services, I'll be paying like 30 quid more than I'm paying now. It's just stupid. But, you know, it is what it is. If I ever got rid of the landline and the TV and I just had the mobile with O2, then I would get fibre to premises. But there's so much I watch on TV. I have you five, but I never had a problem with them. Um, been with them a few things, everyone knows. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could get those sort of speeds for those sort of prices. 
but I don't need to gig it up and down. It's just me. You know, I'm on 30 up and 350 down, which is more than I need for what I'm doing. Way more than I need. That is also true, yeah. I, yeah, I Um, oh, there's a bio there. I wonder what that is. Is that an old bio or a new bio? So, yeah, because I use, I watch so much on TV that I can't get free viewed or cheaper another way. It's just, yeah, I just stuck with it. Off what, yeah. All of them, I think, are pretty useless. Off com, off what, um, all of them, I think, are pretty darn useless. Bowl accounts. Right, what do we have here? Um, bacterium. Okay, there's no blue diamonds or anything, so we, sh we, will, we shall skip that one. Next. Off twat. Yeah, exactly, Wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off not. No teeth. No teeth. Uh, I work for an ISP. You teeth is a cat. Okay. No ways, dude. No ways. So good. No good. But you've got more um, experience with them than anyone else with them, really. Is it a data trade and trade for stuff you don't have from stuff you do? What's that? Jibba. Uh, Jibja. Are you doing weights? But it says, yes. You do what um, you said. So if you go, hang on, let me get your webby page. Um, it should help you, dude. Do, 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 there we want material traders. Actually, if I do it in a new browser tab, because then it won't want to have my bits and pieces in it. Uh, there. Right, so what you want to do, mate, what you want to do when they come for you is... On this page, I'm going to link you now, dude. Go onto there and click on... Oh, Unfortunately, you have to copy the whole thing out because Twitch breaks the link. Or, um, this might be the other. Yeah, if you if that gives you grief, try this one. Go onto there. Either one of those, and you want search nearest, and then you want um, under misc. Which one's it under? Which one's it under? Um, yeah, on stations, you want um, station services material trader. That's when you want. You could put in where you are, and then you can find the closest material trader for you. And for data, you want data trader. If you want, I can always show you how I do it on, how you do it on the on screen, if that helps as well. You can do it for raw materials, manufactured materials, and data materials. Encoded, sorry, encoded, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me do it then, hang on. Let me, let me fire up the thing with Jiggy. Un momento, pour for the murky buckets. What a lovely gift. Do, 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 do. Right, so if we go there, capture... Browser. Right, so if you go to Inara, as I said in the URL, hey, option, good day, dude. Welcome in, how are you? Nice to see you, to see you, nice. And then go to data, and you can see you've got material traders. Click on that, and then change search, because it defaults to Sol. You change search and you just put in there, click on that bit, type in whatever system you name means. Let's do LHS five five three. There you go, that one there, we'll just pick this one. 
click on it and then you do search again it shows you all the stations of what it is so you've got a manufactured raw encoding which is the one you want for the data yeah and that's where what's that and that's where three work laptops jesus christ wolf bloody hell and it can tell you how far the station is and how far in light years it is from you did that help Let us know, dude. Let us know. Cool. You're welcome. You can do lot. You can search for lots of other things in the lava as well. So, lots of other things. Might need to um, discover this system. Now, I'm wondering when the actual next head's going to come up. I want to go hmm, all my way out of the way. Thanos. Not the only villain I can remember from um, Thingy Jiggy. The old Marvels. I think my ad schedule's a bit screwed up today, so I have to play it by ear. Or was it Loki? Okay. Or was it Thanos wanted to kill everybody, or a third of the galaxy? I've lost track with Marvel. Screwed. It's Scrooge McDuck. Oh, was it a half? I thought it was a third. See, look, you know, how much do I know about it? Hey, you got it right, Jadamar. You got it right. Oh, we've got a Terry. A4 of Terry. There's the rest of them. I thought I saw a blob. Do, do, do. Right, how's my um, Amazon delivery looking? Track the package! Right, it's still not out for delivery yet. Come on, you bastard, deliver. Do, 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 you know, different people have different experiences of the same, you know, service provider and whatever it is they're using. And, you know, it's just the way it goes, unfortunately. Right, so, oh, we've got Tectonicus on A5. So we need A4 and A5. Ooh. Yeah, well, I guess it's because they don't know anything until that particular driver is leaving the depot. Hey Viper, good morning, good day. How are? Nice to see you to see you nice. You well as you could. It's been it's getting ready to be dispatched. How thoughtful. But um until the actual driver leaves the depot, it's not on the road, is it? It's not, you know, and then as they get closer they can give you a lockout time window. Hey Sir Oak, good morning, dude. Hello. All right, okay, we've got ads coming up, okay. So they have to be up in a minute. And then I can go make a cup of tea, get a cake, uh, a bit of cake and have a wee. First bacon sorry, I know, I know. I will add some more random things in there for, for nice gifts and stuff as well. Um, Got to think of things. Have a thinky poos. They just sort out the audio levels on all those bits. I'm sure I must, some of them aren't quite the, the white right level. I'll have to normalise them. They all become at the um, same level. I want A5. I didn't just loop. Uh, nobody saw it, so it didn't happen. Hey, um, Enik. Good day, dude. Welcome in. Hello in our house. Is it Enik? Enik Steeman? Steeman? Or is it, I should call you Enik? Enik. But lucky, you told everybody you just looped, dude. So we know you looped. 
get the crabs with more potassium than a bacon sandwich and eating a banana. Is there really? Really? Oh, cool. Oh, Enic, cool. thank you. Welcome in, welcome in. Well, I eat bacon and bananas, so, you know, I'll get, I'll get all, the, all the potassium I need. Facts, ooh. That's fact, not a factoid. Uh, not the bacon I get, because I don't buy supermarket bacon. I get mine from a butcher's who go to the actual um, meat market up in London. So you don't get all that horrible white gunky stuff come out of it when you cook bacon. That you do with supermarket bacon. This is catering bacon I get. I don't know, dude, I don't know. No idea why we get cramps. Let's Google it, see what Google says. Why do we get muscle cramps? I think, is it something to do with lacto, lactic acid or something? Uh, muscle cramp is an uncontrollable and painful spasm of a muscle. The exact cause is unknown, but some of the risk factors may include poor physical condition, dehydration and muscle fatigue. You can help reduce the duration and severity of cramp by gently stretching the muscle and massaging the area. Oh, there you go. So we don't know. Salt deficiency. Lactic acid build up. That's if you normally if you're doing like heavy workouts, isn't it? But if you're not, if you're just sitting there, you go, oh, fucking leg cramp, whatever. Hey, morning, Sparkers. G'day, dude. Hello, and how are you? Nice to see you. To see you, nice. Well, the NHS, see what they say about leg cramps. Regular calf stretching exercise may help reduce cramps, but not completely stop them from happening. Okay. So the NHS says the cause of leg cramps. Leg cramps can sometimes be caused by aging, putting too much strain on muscles during exercise, which can be worse in hot or humid weather. Um, pregnancy, usually in the later stages. Certain medicines, for example, medicines for lowering cholesterol, uh, statins or high blood pressures, uh, diuretics, not drinking enough fluids, dehydration, liver disease because of drinking too much alcohol. The reason for some cramps is unknown. Yeah. Well, I hope the NHS would know something about it, you know, them being like the National Health Service. Uh, you know. Right, um, I haven't kicked in yet because I'm going to go make a cup of tea. Not yet, they haven't anyway. So it'll be a kick it up in a minute, I think. Unless they've already gone. I'm not doing too bad today, dude. Not too bad. A bit of a weirdy night of sleep again, uh, which happens once in a while. Woke up in the middle of the night, tried to doze back off again, and then I ended up in like that weird fugue state between sleep and wake for a undetermined period of time. And then I got up about half past six, so. Right, so I've not seen the other thing is pop up on Twitch. And Twitch guys are saying anything about ads yet, so they haven't popped up. Oh, there we go. Ad break games, right. So I'm gonna go and um, make myself a cup of tea and stuff. I will park my bum here. We'll switch to the words on stream, you poos. Uh, words on stream. Ow. Bow, bow. Right, I'll be back in a minute or three. Enjoy, peeps, and I'll catch you in a minute or three.
Well, level three already. Nice, nice. Oh, Nikki's on. Cool. Go look on Nikki quickly. <coughs> you nearly done. You nearly got all of them. Who follow the two words beginning with B, or possibly um, E or K? Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? Needy there, needy there. Burk. Make me burk. My bell trap door. Oh, you're yeah, not bad, not bad. I'm back now so we can carry on. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, we shall pause that, mute that, and then go back to that. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to see if I can do something about make tweak the old um, schedule thing with Jiggies. Ah Fuck me. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. That was a good job I came back when I did, wasn't it? Fucking hell, Bruce. God dear, what timing that was. Ooh. Clean flight suit to the uh, flight deck, please. Fuck me, that was close. Ooh. Deep breath, deep breath. Fucking hell, that was close. Fucking hell, please. Fucking hell. Um, yes, it would have been loss of everything. Everything would have gone. <laughs> everything would have gone. Uh, bye bye. I would have just dropped out of Super Crew because I wasn't going. I was. I was idle. I know, I know, yes, yes. But we're good, we're good, you know. Crisis was averted at last moment. All that happened was I would have dropped out Super Cruise, maybe taking a little bit of hold damage or something. Doesn't that no, it just look gorgeous? Ah, uh, is that because you come out of the glide too fast? What do you reckon? Up high like that? Or have the ship lower down? We are level, so that's good. I know, sometimes you find an image and you think, oh, that's so good. But yeah.
I don't know. I don't know. Have the ship in the lower third. I am further away. Okay. We can do that. About as far as I can go. Let's I zoom out. We could go to the other side. We could do it that way. I get the angle so it's like that. Ah, dad, he does better pictures than me. Or we could go like that. Sun glinting. I think like that better. What do you reckon? Like that? Right, we'll do that one. Say cheese! I could always do one flying into the sun like that. I'll do it oh, fuck it. I don't take that many pickies. Not, you know, I don't, not as much as I used to. Come on, take the last percent. Done. Right, I need to go down the land. Find these old bios. Ba 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 ba. Do 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 do. Oh, auto leveling. I was tempted to do one of those hundred screenshot video things but everyone seems to be doing. I don't know if I can be bothered. Don't know if I can be bothered or not. Uh Uh, I don't know what it is about the cockpit glass or the cutter, but it seems to be the worst for catching the light. I'm out in the black and I think it's something around me. Whilst this fast entry shows that to be just another light reflection. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean about the light reflections. All those bacteria. With one of the re recent updates, the um, the light reflections got have gotten worse on the cockpits. Or, or better, depending on which way you're looking at it. I can do, um, if I can, you get like that reflection on the glass. When I see it, I know what I mean. And it does get a bit annoying at times. Oh, actually, we've got a stratum. Okay. Okay, we'll go with a stratum the first thing. It's worth the most. Stratum Tectonicus is worth 19,010,800 credits. Cha ching! 
Oh, oh did I? No, I didn't. In fact, I did. The light effects in such a way you can see the scratches on the canopy, as it were. I don't know if that's what you're talking about you as well. Outside the first sample range. It seems to be worse in space as well than on the planet's surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. What is it on there at the moment? It was in one of the recent updates. I think it was 16 or 17 that it got worse. It always used to be there, and then it kind of went away, and then it's come back again. Bit annoying in places. A wee bit annoying. Uh, do you have a hand in day planned? Um, for the XO Bio, yes. When I get to the fleet carrier. There's a DSSA fleet carrier that I'm heading towards, which is about, well, as you can see, it says on the screen, it is um, we have left the second sample range. 632 light is away. Now, Tucker said he's not going to be around until Friday. So what I might do is... I'm trying to find, oh, there's, is that a back team as well as I strat them there? It's a back team in planet. So I've got 25 jumps left on this particular leg. Then however many jumps it is to get from where I fit, end up to... The carrier but there may be a, a box all i want to do on the way maybe i don't know we'll see um but the idea is i'll try and get there and, and do the sell-off on friday because then tucker can watch that'll be this friday but i'll only be the exo bio i'm selling i won't sell the expiration data oh cheers dude thank you it's just appreciated but i'm literally uh, um, do -do 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 there's one in that nebula there, which I'm aiming for. Uh, it should have a DSSA carry on it, according to the thing with Jiggy. If it doesn't, I'll hit you up. Hey, Devin. Good morning, dude. Hello, and how are you? Well, you good? Nice to see you. See you nice. The expiration date, I won't sell that until I get back to Bubble. Well, so I'll get the 200% Yigon Rui bonus. That might explain why I couldn't land. We've got the bacterium and the uh, stratum nearby. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Oh, no, I want, I want that one first. Assuming, of course, they don't change the fundamentals of power play before um, with power play 2.0. We should still wait to see what if they're going to change the uh, rating rewards and stuff. I fucking hope they don't. Bacterium Cerberus is worth 1,689,800 credits. Oh, really? <clears throat> ah, okay. You should get about to get it able to get relatively easy, dude. In this case, you're doing missions for, um, for them. Oh, there's a bacterium there. You have left the Ouch. first sample range. What are the shields? That's the idea anyway, so...
Right, cake's done. That shouldn't take too long. You keep on keeping on. Good thing about the minor factions you is, have left the second sample range. once you become allied with them, you don't lose ally status unless you do something negative towards them. The, the, the three super factions, the Federation, the Empire, and the um, Alliance, unless you keep on doing positive things, you drop down to 75%. Because I've not done anything positive towards them, I'm at 75% friendly. And if you're hostile to them, or if you're hostile to any faction, either minor or super, if you stop doing negative things, eventually you'll go up to 75% unfriendly with them. You can never be completely um, hostile unless you keep on doing nasty things. Yeah, that's sort of way of doing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Right, so we're done with this one. Next, moving on. Moving on up, moving on out. Nothing can stop me. He did two birds, one stone eye. That's the way to do it. Ba 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 Apparently I've been invited to the community uh, meetup in Manchester on April the 12th. Uh no. No thanks. I shall pass on that one. Oh, do you want to know something, dude? Do you want to do something? Right, I'm just having a look at the old um, thingy jiggies. Um, just looking at the unique chatters. Nah, I don't fancy it. No. Um, what? Be lucky. You're one of my top three chatters, uh, as is Baron von Noodle and Tin Man. Do I have a fleet carrier? Uh, Christ Crampton? No, I do not have a fleet carrier. Nope. I uh, I could buy one. And welcome, hi, nice to see you, to see you, nice the old, the old you, you of tubes. But I feel like that for me, they're more like a stone around my neck. And I absolutely detest and loathe the refueling mechanic on it. Not that it needs tritium, but how you have to refuel your fleet carrier. I don't know if you've got a fleet carrier, but with the refueling mechanic, if you've got uh, tritium in your cargo hold and you want to transfer it from your cargo hold to your fuel tank, as you says on Twitch, because I'm streaming to both Twitch and YouTube, um, you have to transfer it from your cargo hold into your ship and then your ship into your fuel tank. You cannot do it remotely. The only way it can technically be done remotely is if you have another commander wants to donate tritium to your fuel tank. And I think is that it's absolutely stupid. You can do everything else remotely. You can jump the ship. You can set up buy and sell orders remotely. But you can't refuel it remotely. Uh, 
and with the sort of trips I do when I go exploring, because I go, I mean, I've been out for nearly two, 25 months I've been out in, in the void. Um, it's over two years. T two, it'll be 25 months on the 14th of April. Having a fleet carrier would mean I'd have to do loads of tritium mining to keep it fueled up and whatnot. Indeed, Blue. And hello, dude. How are you, Blue? Nice to see you. See you. Nice. Another member of the Blues Brothers is in the house. And, uh, yeah, it's just a pain on the back side. I know, I know, Lucky, I know, because that came out before we had the auto dock, so... Hey, hey, 07, dude, 07. So, yes, um, for me, it's more like having a, a stone around my neck. That was a nice present. Off we go! So, yes. And... There's a group of players out there called the DSSA Network, where they have at least one fleet carrier in pretty much every region of the galaxy. Sometimes two or three carriers. And I can visit them as and when I want to on my travels. And that's where I'm heading to now, one of the fleet carriers. So I can refuel and repair on the arm. And if they've got a Vista Genomics, turn in the XO data. Oh, you love crunchies. Ah, it's the honeycomb in it. Thank crunchy it Friday. So there you go. Um, that's the answer to the, the fleet carrier thingy. Maybe more than you wanted to know, Christ. I'm going to call you, I'm calling you Christ. Um, but Christ, but yes, that's that's the whole thing about the fleet carrier to me. With the crunchies, have you ever tried nibbling the chocolate off to just left with the honeycomb? Or is that just me? And one thing I've never tried with a crunchy is use it as a straw for a cup of tea. I know you can do it with a Tim Tam, but I've never done it with a, with a crunchy. Like nibble off the ends so you can have it like a honeycomb straw. I wonder if that'll be weird. What do you mean it's the work of the psychopath? <laughs> you're welcome, dude. You're welcome. Just me. Okay. What about with Kit Kat? Do you ever nibble the chocolate off the wafer waff of a Kit Kat? So you just have the, the uh, wafer and load of the chocolate. It's a, it's a skill, you know, it's an exercise in skill. Can you nibble all the chocolate without breaking the wafer? The dexterity of the old teeth. And get it melting on your fingers. Mrs. B does that. I thought they would divorce every time she does it. <laughs> but it's good. It's, 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 yeah, it's, a, it's a bit of a challenge for you. It's a bit of a challenge. Do, 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 do. Yeah, have a bit of fun with your, with your, your chocolate. Right, we've got in there. You know, a lot of people do own fleet carriers and they make very good use of them. But for me, I don't. I just can't see. I've got no need for one. The way I play the game. May change in time. Who knows? Who knows? Oh God, no! With an after eight, Jesus Christ. You can't do that with an after eight, not at all. Oh, there's um, bios on there. Could it be Tectonicus? Let's have a look, excuse that bio insights. Okay, we have a, a potential Stratum Tectonicus on A1, which happens to also be a Terry football ball. Well, that's a bonus, isn't it? What's a bonus? I think if you tried it with an after eight, you just end up with like all the, the gooey, minty stuff everywhere. What about Maltesers? What about nibbling the chocolate for Maltesers just left with the honeycomb? Or the ultimate one, the ultimate, a fruit pastel. There was one of the old adverts, wasn't it, where it said, can you put a fruit pastel in your mouth without chewing it? That's tricky, that is, having a fruit pastel and eating it without chewing that's a tough one that is so 
serial killer Ted and Sue. <laughs> what? What do you mean serial killer tendencies? Nothing like that of it. You can also six weeds mix in one go. What can you use? That's cool, dude. That's cool. You spend the following day on the toilet, though. That's the other question, then. All that fibre. I'm going to have done an up another update for Planet Crafter. Oh, OK. So they've uh, updated the animal colours, additional... Adding some uh, additional Chinese uh, translations. Do you remember the long sugar-covered donuts with cream and jam? Uh, no, I never had them because I only ever liked the uh, jam donuts myself. Never liked them with cream or that on them. This could be a nice jam donut, raspberry jam. I'm a happy person. None of these other, you know, beefy dangles on them, sprinkles or icing or any of that malarkeys. Bug fixes and polishing. I hope they fix the fucking brightness bug. That's for fucking sure. But what do we have? Bacterium or stratum? It's bacterium. I mean, I can manage three Weetabix, but then I'm, I'm, I, I don't use milk on my Weetabix. I'm, people think I'm odd. Or, well, yes, you do think I'm odd. But I have, I put butter on my Weetabix. It works. Don't, don't knock it until you try it. Remember being at school, we uh, better mate. He couldn't eat a full one without licking his lips. He managed it up to four years ago. Yeah, strange, isn't it? It's strange the things you remember. Ah, uh, my mum used to eat them like it, so I grew up with them, and it works nicely. No, no milk, no milk, just butter on top. People put jam on them as well. If you watch the Weetabix adverts, there's all sorts of weird combinations you can put on Weetabix. Uh, you're available to donut yourself. Jam, apple custard, not a huge fan of glaze, but we'll find them acceptable in the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, you know, it's what it is. It is what it is. I don't give a shit. It's, I'm eating them, not you. Exactly, serving suggestions. Thank you, Alexa. Thank you. Yes. It's not actually, it's not. Commander Dirk Loop Meister Hatch is a good friend and another awesome source streamer. Oi, oi, seven, oi. Below next time they are on. P.S. Press the button when you visit. How's the taxi service today, dude? Are you out and about yet, or are you um, still at home? Ow. Ow. <laughs> I'm sure there's weird food combinations that you guys eat that others would go, ooh, at. So, good job it's not a, um, a hobnob. Yeah, exactly. Eat dry seals. I mean, who hasn't eaten some Rice Krispies or cornflakes dry? Come on. Some of you have. That's nice uh, not out about yet. My taxi job was conveniently arranged for the middle of my usual streaming day. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So what about midday, one o'clock-ish? And you've got to wait an hour and a half for him to uh, do whatever it is he's doing. So, yeah. Emotionally evolving a bin. Hey, I would agree with you, shredded wheat. Until you try it, don't knock it. Don't knock it. You like cornflakes with your eaty bits? Interesting combination. Nice and crunchy. Cool flakes with orange juice. That see that that would put me off. But if you enjoy it, like certainly you find it tasty, more power to you. See, I'm not judging. Uh, it's a busy quarter past one to quarter to four. Uh, okay. Well, you just have to teach him how to drive hatch and buy him a car, or give him the keys to yours, one or the other. Or or pay for an Uber. See, you've got choices, my friend. You have choices. 
Yes, but there's some things which you definitely know you wouldn't like, and then some things you wouldn't know until you tried them. You know, comparing Weetabix and being kicked in the Nadgers are not quite the same things. Kick him out? Well, you, you, you've locked him out, so it's, it, that's, you know, it's not far from kicking him out, is it? I do like these these types of styles. Look at how cool that looks. Look how cool that looks with the starlight on it. That look gorgeous. The old anaconda there. That should look beautiful. Look gorgeous. You can see the star reflecting in the um the canopy. This is a food conspiracy. Please can I have all my hugs back? Because <laughs> it's the Anaconda best ship. That's why. Looks cell shaded. Yeah, I know it does. Which is why I love the ice white paint job. It gives it such a cool look. I don't know what it is about the ice white, but it makes these ships just look so good. It gives them an effect that no other paint job in the game does. I think it looks awesome. Now, what's all those serial ideas as good gifts? Oh, we could do Alexa. We could do. Yes, we could do. Yes, yes. Let's add some in, shall we, Alexa? Um, should we add some in, Alexa? We'll do that right now, dear. We'll do that right now. Um, where are they? Oh, I know exactly where they are. Hang on. Let's go to there. Go into that folder there. That's in there. That one done. Um. Okay, that's two added. If I, we get any more, we'll add them in. It's all a conspiracy to get us chatting more cereal baked. Oh, God, blue. <laughs> Oh, see what we did there, see what we did. Right, what we got, what we got, what we got. No Terry's. Not be Terry either. Oh, Devi's off a lurk now, he's in a bit, dude. Ah, oh, it's not Terry's, it's mine. It's for the gift. I've only added two in, so we got 26 in there now, so... I just need to work out why it's not doing the um, anti-random thingy. Because I copied it from the command that does work. And for some reason it just doesn't work. And I can't work out why. So It gives a gift, but it doesn't recall the fact that it's given that particular gift. It's obviously something I've messed up in when I've been converting it to run the um, way it wanted it to. But oh well, I'll figure it out at some point. You're only giving out bad gifts now. <laughs> you had a look, but I did, but didn't get a brand seal working. No, I, I just can't work it out, dude. Because all I did was um, strip out the answers and change the variable names in situ to match what they, you know, and it just didn't, I don't know. I can do, yeah, I can do. Now let me do that now. I remember. Um. There we go. It's got two more gifts in it now, but that doesn't matter. So, because the number's easy enough to change. Uh, like the reference to red. Red Wolf. Yes, yes. Thank you, Weed Hacker. Hello, how are you? It's nice to see you. By the way, Weed Hacker, I'm also on Twitch as well as the old Tube of Views. But yes, the old uh, Red Dwarf. It's cold outside. There's no kind of atmosphere. Oh, cheers, dude. But, dude, that dude, if you've got the time and you don't mind, but if you're busy or whatever, you know, 
do it when you get a moment. You know the same goes with the old um, voice tech stuff if you ever get stuck. Have we got anything worth buying? Yes, I am a bit of a Red Dwarf fan, to say the least. I've seen them all. I've met Hattie and I've met Norman. Well, I've worked with both Hattie and Norman, so. You're on the tube of views too. Nice one, dude. Nice one. Thank you, dude. Thank you. A lot of people are still unclear how you feel about them. It's a very placid rant. <laughs> Reese's peanut butter eggs are the worst crime against food. Yes. Yes. Um, butric acid or something they contain. American chocolate, a lot of it contains butric acid, which gives it that sickly flavour. Oh, that's us off a dirty lurky. It some taste like vomit. In a little bit of package now. Ooh, what can I have? Uh, cornflakes and orange. Something like that, yeah. Butrick. Butrick. Something along those lines. I did post it in your chat yesterday and you ignored it. No, you didn't. You actually read it out. You did read it out. Uh, but only sweet bits and next to his point noise onto a cornflakes. I mean, what the f actual fuck? <laughs> but it's always been the case with American chocolate. It's always put that butric acid into it. Um, it tastes vile. First time I had a Hershey's, I thought I'd been sold a bad, and the second time proved you wrong. Yeah, exactly. But Americans are used to it. That's the thing. Americans have grown up with it, so it's become you know normal for them. And when they have chocolate from you know the UK and Europe. It's a complete and utter revelation to them. And they think it, a lot of them think it tastes terrible. Nice. There's nothing else in there, is there? Nah, we've done all those bits. You know, you give American dark chocolate and they'll wonder what the fuck's happened to it. Basically, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah they, um, they used to basically for having that taste of sick in their mouth all the time. Oh, that's coming up in a sec. I've had to, I'll be ready to schedule on the ads a little bit, so... Um... Just to try and even things out a tad. Can't get too close, for fuck's sake. Not too close. Yeah, the hatch had this yesterday, target too close. It is not too close, it is just about right. On those rare drunken occasions we have them, Palamine puts brown sauce in his kebab. Hey, if he enjoys it, who cares? At the end of the day, with food choices, you're not the person eating it. The other person is, aren't they? So, you know. Like, you know, curry sauce and chips. I don't get curry sauce and chips. Yeah, I just think that's just bizarre. Or dunking your French fries in a milkshake. Apparently, it's a really nice thing. But for me, it's like, what? No. You're putting a hot thing in a cold thing and making a hot thing cold. And slightly melting the cold thing by warming it up. It's just like, what? No. So if Katie Finney in the US have a quick spew in their um, servings <laughs> hatch. <laughs> Your boy's going to New York for his important birthday and I'm like, why? Because you like crap food and constant smell of piss. Oh, harsh, harsh, harsh. Right, so we'll have a bit of the old wordy on streams in a minute. We'll have a couple of minutes, a session of that. And we've got the ad break. You need something moist. Mm, yeah, moist. Bacon. Mm, a nice bit of moist, succulent back bacon. Oh, no, AB1 is a Terry. Uh, of course, if you watch it on YouTube, you won't see any ads. Look, look he's not on the live stream. Uh, you're too fucking close. Right, let's move away. Right, let's do a bit of the old word is on stream, shall we? We'll do a level, I think. Um, Bow, bow, bow. 
you're only here for the ads. Cool. Well, um, you won't see them because you're um, subbed. So, ha! But you can play words on the stream. A fun game for all the family. Oh, you're, st oh, you're not still close anymore. Metal Rich. Beep, 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 beep. Bow, 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 bow. I'm playing Toad in MIU at the moment. Oh, yeah, cool. June. Um... No bother. Other, woohoo! Other belief. Bow, 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 bow. Under pressure. Boom, 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 boom. I wonder if I'll get copyright for that. Rend. Oh, nice one, rend. Room. So there's a four letter word beginning with D. There is a four letter word beginning with D left. See, this is a good thing as well, this words on stream. It's a good mental exercise for people. Get your old brain cells going. I'm providing a service, by the way. This is providing a service for you, just keeping your brain active. That begins with D something. It could be D E, uh, D R, D N. Dude! Oh, we got away. Nikki. Oh, Nikki, go off early. You're not feeling it, dude. Oh, but thank you for the raid, Nikki. You're legend. Ta very much, you mateys. And yeah, Nikki's not been feeling very well. Bless him. We raiding dangerous. Woohoo! Welcome in, everybody. You come in just in the middle of the ad adverts, um, as well as words on stream. Nikki, no, no. You go do what you need to do, Nikki. Um, take care, dude. I hope you feel better soon. And um, I'll, we'll, you know, hopefully see you Thursday, mateys. Fantastic. But you go to yourself out, dude. You go to yourself out. Never apologise, dude. Ethers. Yeah, to type dude three times for it to accept it. Were you padlocked, Blue? If you get a successful word, you get padlocked until the next padlock thing pops up. Yeah, take care, Nikki. Take care. Big hugs. Bow, boom, bow, boom, bow, boom, bow, boom, bow, boom. Well, that's what I can do. I can move it up over there, can't I? Over that. Yes, rules, I know. So you see the padlocks on the on the countdown. If you get a word, watch what happens to your name. Or whoever his name gets a word. So look, Blue's got a padlock on him, so Blue can't do anything now until the timer gets past the first pad or the next padlock. So you can't do count. There's also that other word in there, we know. Now he can, because he's now he's lost the padlock, you see. That one be lucky, yes, that one. <laughs> Which he doesn't like for some reason. Cute, yeah, cute. That's one jumped here, cute. Except there's no no E. So I had to finish in the 30 seconds. Bow, bow, boom, bow, bow, boom. But there's a fake letter. Um, it may be the P, possibly. The P may be a, a fake. Because uh, pad didn't work and punt hasn't worked, so P is a fake. There is no P. I think it's a P. Yeah, can I have a P, please, Bob? Toucan. Ooh, nice one, nice one. Glad I already had that, though. But welcome to everybody from Nikki's stream. Um, I think we had some good fun in Nikki. I know he wasn't on for long, but um, you know, sometimes short is better than long. Who are laugh and laugh? So that's just the bishop. But welcome in everybody. If you don't know, I'm Furry Toad, Elite Dangerous partner and recent Twitch partner. Yay, go me! And I'm out exploring the galaxy in the vastness of the Milky Way. Well, they can't see much at the moment. I'll show you when we get back into the game. 
Let's see. Game over, man. Game over. Turn off the autopilot. Bow, 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 bow. Congrats. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. Well, I couldn't have done it without you lovely people watching me all the time. Um, look at Jatamar. Look at that, dude. You're top of the leaderboard, mate. Nice one. And uh, CP second with Lucky in third. With Blue in a distant fourth. So, but as I said um, the other week, without people coming to watch me, supporting me, hanging out, chatting, um, and just being awesome people, I wouldn't have got it. So, you know, my thanks go out to you peeps. But yes, yeah, so I am out in the middle of the Milky Way. Well, not in the middle, but you know, northwest quadrant, the Hieronymus Delta region, all the way over there is the bubble. And I'm going to a fleet carrier there to turn in my exo bio data. Hey, MJ, how was? Good day, good day, good day. And then I'm going to go from there via a few waypoints to Isum's Reach. I call it Isum's Reach because yeah. I found it, I discovered it, I got my name on it, and that's um, the furthest star system from Seoul. And we're going to make a decision about what I do on the way back. I have goals in mind. Oh, there's um, biologicals in here. But none of them are worth uh, a lot of money. But... There are two bessies. And they're worth a million, a million credits each. Uh, so we want 2B, 2C, 2F. 2B or not 2B? That is the question. I'm going to go and get the tubas. The tubi. What's the plural of tubus? Tubus? Tubi? Tubus? I don't know. Any answers? Oh. And my Amazon parcel has still not been sent out for delivery. Bow, 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 bow. Bum, 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 bum. Tubisai. Could be. Hey Theo. Good day, dude. How are you? Tubi according to Google. Okay. And we've got Twindex in the house. Hello, Twindex. How you doing, dude? You well, you good? But I'm also, as um, some of you know, I'm streaming to YouTube as well as Twitch. I am doing the Twitchy, Twitchy Tubes, as we've called it. Uh, I want to get my watch hours up on youtube so i can monetize my youtube content and bring in a few extra pennies here and there oh what a gift twin decks oh you lucky bastard uh, um two weeks this wednesday it happened um jadamar and thank you dude i much appreciate it i can tell you the exact date if i look at my emails Uh, it was on the 20th of, of March I got it, so, yes. Bow, 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 bow. And I did get, also get access to the, um, separately, the Enhanced Broadcasting Beta from Twitch. Which I still haven't sorted out yet, so. I can't remember why I did it, but it was a reason why I did it. Absolutely. <laughs> I could murder a cup of tea. Oh, see, um, this is it. This is the enhanced beta they've been you obviously me jiggy. It. You're dead. Enhanced broadcast with multiple encodes is a new set of features that are built directly into OBS Studio and the Twitch video system for this beta. This current Twitch specific beta build includes support for multiple client side encodes, similar to transcodes and automatic stream configuration. Because I'm doing dual streams, it mostly won't work very well. Um, transcoding is a process that creates a multiple video qualities of your original high stream quality content. Providing multiple video qualities enables viewers experiencing poor network conditions or those watching older devices to watch your content without buffering. There's... Maybe I should use it at some point. I don't know. Ba 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 ba. Oh, you've got a Laving Brandy. Nice. Now I've had the cornflakes with orange yet. Or the wheat mix with butter. Hey, Tim, man. Did I say that to you earlier? 
or did you sneak in? Did, did Tin Man sneak in? Good old Tin Man. When's he, uh, what time's the MOT? Or have you had it already? Bow, 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 bow. Just sat in the queue, so may vanish again. No ways, dude, no ways. We'll touch wood, fingers crossed. It all goes, uh, and you get a pass. He goes well, you get the pass, he poos. Thank you, MJ. Thank yous. Thank yous. See? Milo, good day, dude. How you doing, Milo? Nice to see you. I'll see you there on the old tube of views. Uh, how's Milo today? Usually when the milk went off. Yeah, but hey, it's just a different thing. <laughs> uh, it's because you don't like it, you like it. doesn't mean to say other people shouldn't, so no, you can earn it. I know you're just joking, so am I, you know that. But there's people who have um, Wheatley Bix with fruit. Milo's fine. Thank you for asking. <laughs> but you're not Milo, are you, Blue? Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Did everyone else have sugar butties in the 70s? Uh, no, be lucky. That was just you, dude. Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't realise you were Milo. Milo Blow Blank. Oh, cool. Ah, oh, hi. Good day, good day, good day, Guy. <laughs> sugar mashed banana. Yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? Sugar mashed banana, but not just sugar. I know, Viper, I know. How strange these people. And you know what's even stranger, Viper? They heat the milk up. I didn't know that blue. I didn't know that. I know sugar and butter. But then people have crisp sandwiches, don't they? With butter. You know, monster munch, you know, sandwich between two butter slices of bread. That's weird, but if you like it, you like it, you know. People have weird food choices, and there's that one with that. Oh, and uh, thank you for that sub on YouTube, whoever that was. Much appreciated. I know who it was, but I'm not saying who you were, because it's got your name on it. So, But thank you very much for that sub on the old YouTube reviews. It's, uh, it's appreciated. If you're watching. I'm not saying anything wrong with the crisp sandwich, but some of the crisps you put in the sandwich can be a little bit odd. Like, what about pickle and onion monster munch, or roast beef monster munch, or spicy... Um, tomato monster much or whatever with butter you know maybe really salty crisps that's one thing but you know there's some weird uh, crisp flavours out there and put them in with odd and you used to dunk your bread in your tea see you know a nice pie sandwich mm. uh, can you ever say it best just to round up all the pen and bomb the bastards well you know exactly see exactly you know Tim has going bread in tea what but hey, who cares? Who cares? It's just food and liquids, that's all. It goes in one hole and comes out the other one. As long as you enjoy it going down, that's all that matters. See, look, you see, pickle and onion monster march is it epic in a sandwich. Nice. Hey, Ginge, good day, dude. How be you? Well, you good? We're just having a discussion about weird food um, favourites. Yeah, those were the simpler days, or ah, ah. People just like weird food combinations, so that's a rock. That's not tubus, it's a rock. There's tubus. Hey, Phoenix, good day, dude. How be you? Well, you good? How are you? going to stellar screenshots there, the old orange Phoenix. Do that. 
you're not too far from again, and a pie on the back is a thing around here. Yeah. Did I not do, um, I didn't, did I? Chris, but he's more meta than a torpedo full of nanites down a far guy's throat. That's very, very true. Very, 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 very true. Come on, Amazon, get my parcel out for delivery, please. I've got bread I'm on a bake. Yes, I, as I said to peeps earlier, I've ordered myself a four pound loaf tin so I can a big full size loaf of bread. But with the old bread, I, I want to try it. I want to try it because I just want to see if I can make it. Yeah, I should be able to. But the thing is, this is where the thing is comes in, right? Oh, another one um, on the, the old YouTube. Thank you very much for that, peeps. You legends. We'll get all the YouTube subscribers to subscribe today. It's like lovely. Thank you. So, um, I can go to Sainsbury's. I can buy Sainsbury's own pre-sliced bread for seventy-five p. It's got twenty slices, and that lasts me all week. Don't have to worry about it. The only thing I do is how thoughtful. Before the best before did I? When it gets to the best before day or the day before it, I put it in the freezer. Makes it, you know, last longer, obviously. So it normally lasts five Chubas to seven days Carvers before I have to do that. It's worth 11,873,200 okay. credits. So I can put it, you know, that's that's 75p. I can... My mother thanks you! Oh, we got a, we got a raid! Another raid! My sister thanks you! And I Who's that? thank you! Who that raided? It's Oz, dude! The chit raid, Oz, thank you very much. How are you, mate? Nice to see you. How's your stream? Aussie raid! Oi, oi, oi! Sorry, is that the one? Yeah. Well, how you doing, dude? How are you? Thank you much for the raid. Your legend. Your darlings. Hi. Welcome in. We've got Emma in the house. We've got um, Bicardi. Uh, we've got the old Samoas. Hello, peeps. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice. Welcome in, dudes. Welcome in. I'm sure most of you know who You're I am now. the first sample range. Boto, partner streamer, blah, blah, blah. Explore extraordinaire, yada yada yada. Yes, yes, it gets been given. You're giving it. You're giving it. <laughs> that was a nice present. And uh, Emma gets a jammy dodger, which is a biscuit if you don't know. No, it, dude. Good luck, dude. Good luck. Right, Tim man's getting you putting his carving for an MOT. That you clearly didn't think. So, yeah, um, it's been discovered it has Fiery Toad name on it. Yes, indeed. Well, ah, but my commander name is not Fiery Toad. So, ha! And I have four commanders in the game, technically. Uh, but, yeah, I can, I can buy a bag of flour, bread flour, for £1.30, which will make me three loaves. And I've worked out, it's a roughly... With the yeast and the salt, it's about, let's say, 45p a loaf. So that gives me 30p leeway for the electric. And I can't, I don't know how much electric the oven will cost or use to, to bake the bread. It could be 30p, it might be 45p, it might be 20p, I don't know, I'll have to yeah, check it. Uh, hey, Decap, good day, dude. Nice to see you, to see you, nice. I sort of addicted the motor town and hell drive and good no good a fork hamadas in the game who's that no idea dude no idea not one what no i've never heard of that name before so i should be able to make the, a loaf and break even on it or maybe it costs a little bit more maybe a little less don't know but the price isn't too much of an issue it's more the case of a home baked loaf of bread you only has the second sample range. Thank you. Typically, flour, water, yeast, and salt in it at the bo at the basic, the, the most, at uh, the minimum. You can put sugar in it. You can put butter in it or whatever if you want. But I just have the those four base ingredients. But it doesn't last very long before it starts going mouldy. Maybe three or four days. So to make it last, I'm, I'll have to slice it myself with a knife and then freeze it but how you doing cap how you doing nice to see you it's the older gamer how do so i'm not bad dude i'm not bad how's you dude how's the older gamer 
yeah, how to make bread part one and it gets hard yeah, it does yes it goes hard and moldy so i'd have to cut it into slices and make cut it in, in, in basically 20 slices to make it last a week and then freeze them which means i'd have to rearrange the yeah. freezer a little bit to make room to put the bread in there in a tub and i'm just wondering that extra bit of hassle is it worth it whereas i can just go into say some bright pre-cut in a bag how oh dear i don't know i don't know i want to make it loaf anyway just to see how you know, well i can make it so this is a an experimentation as it were and we'll see how we go I need to have a little bit of a clean out in the freezer anyway because I've got stuff in there that you know it's been there for too long now. I need to get rid of. Right, still different game of soldiers. A bit manually. Um, not really, no for it. Said hello me dear, how are you? Big hugs to the old ferrets there. Lovely to see to see your lover. Um do -do 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 -do. But yeah, it's the do it's it's because it gets exposed to the air and everything else, it just goes mouldy. My twice yearly defrost and vacuum with the compressor is looming. Ooh. Oh, good. Talking of defrosting freezers, right? Um, I found an extraordinarily good way of doing that. Over there. If you've got one, you know, one of the little home steam cleaners, you know, you use to steam clean the tiles and, you know, whatnot in the bathroom and everything else. Oh, is it really? Oh, oh, wow. Um, I use that to... No, don't even turn it off for now. I use a steam cleaner to basically blast into the OS. And then that falls off in chunks, which you can then get rid of in the sink or whatever. Yeah, use the steam cleaner. Yeah, yeah, it's good, isn't it? And it also deep cleans the freezer at the same time. It's brilliant. Uh, well, I already, make, I already do make a large cake use. I make a... Um, it's a 24-inch cake tin I use. My for my cakes. Is it twenty inch or twenty four? It's one of those two. But the four pound loaf tin will mean it'll be rectangular, not ro ro rotund. It's circular, so so I could make a, mo a meat loaf, but I don't like meat loaf. I like meat loaf. The, the singer, bless him, you know, very rest in peace and like malarkeys. Um, well, when I do the rolls, I do two at a time in the foodie for a 180 centigrade for 18 minutes. And when it gets down to five minutes, I turn them over so the bottoms get a bit crispy as well. But in the oven, I don't know. I'd have to experiment with that a little bit. Um, he's going to make some stem ginger cookies. Oh, nice one. Uh, fruit and ferrets, nice ones. So it's a question. Whenever I cook fish fingers and chips, I make a chip butty. But Mrs. B will put chips and, and a bit of fish finger on her butty. I think that's a step too far. A fish finger butty on its own, absolutely. I think of the joy, but with chips... Whoa! Who cares? Does, Mrs. B obviously enjoys it. Let her have it. The fruit freezer has a condenser drip tray at the back. Oh, I bet it is, yeah. I bet that's full up with all sorts of joyful things. <laughs> right, what are the other two I wanted? If she likes it, mate, who gives a shite? I need B and F. Who gives a shite? And maybe with a bit of either red sauce or brown sauce of your your choice. You've had it four years. Is it one of those frost-free ones, ferrets, by any chance? Oh, let me let's off a look. Red on fish fingers, there you go, see? I mean, sometimes when I have a bacon and sausage sign, I'll put a little bit of tomato sauce in it. Not often, but, you know. See, mayonnaise, yeah, no. Mayonnaise, I just think, is vile, but that's just me. It should, yeah, well, it mostly is for A lot of the newer ones are. My one's years old. Uh, still works. Tartar sauce is one chunky fish fingers in a uh, tempura batter. Another choice, yeah, uh, tartar sauce. About 40p an hour to run another 8, 180. Okay. 
It wouldn't be an hour. That would be most probably half an hour at most. Including time to let the oven heat up. So it'd be about 20, 25p. Which would be about even with buying in Sainsbury's then. And I think in April the price of electric is dropping in the UK. Wait, what? <laughs> I've never been a fan of fish fingers. I like fish, like cod and haddock and hake and um, what's the other one? Um, bala. You know, I like some of the old white fish. But I've never been a fan of fish fingers myself. Um, have I seen a standing charge? No, I haven't, but I can check what mine is now. Um, maybe. Um, Okay, so at the moment my electric, I know that's how much I've spent this month so far. Um, what was that one? Okay, so electric is 25, 25p per kilowatt hour and gas is 5.96p per kilowatt hour. Uh, my electric standing charge is 47.85 and my gas standing charge is 28.95 pence. Because my energy meter tells me. So my standard charge for electric is um, quite high. Just try to be lucky again one food at a time. <laughs> yeah, my, at the moment mine says on my smart meter 47.85 for electric and 28.95 for gas. But my electric, I don't know, I think it's gone down a couple of p on the old electric and a, a little bit on the gas. We have 25, 25 for electric and 5.96 for the gas. Oh, right, adds in a minute. I'll go nip to, I'll nip to the loo when he has come on. We'll do a bit of the old words on stream. Do 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 do. But if you're subbed or you've got Twitch Turbo, you won't see him. And if you're on YouTube, you won't see him. But we'll do the old wordy on stream. <laughs> hey, Jax. G'day, dude. How are you? Nice to see you. This is you nice. Well, streaming costs money. You know, I have to spend money on the electric and this, that and the other. And whatnot. And... The streaming, what I own from streaming, basically pays the energy bills for the month. So, how are you doing, Jax? How are you? But it's basically, I don't lose any money. And if I make a bit of extra money, I can use that to buy things for the stream. Yeah, I could buy games and this, that and the other. If I, can, you know, if I start earning enough on streaming, you never know, I might even be able to go full-time streamer. Yeah. Would you like me to see me full time? Five or six days a week? Would you like that? Yeah. Well, not 24 7, Alexa. Not, you know, unless you want to watch the VODs. But, you know, I, I, need, I need a day off. Would you mean, oh, God, no. Chunks, I thought you liked me. I used to stream six days a week few years back don't go full-time I can't take the competition but actually hatch my friend I wouldn't stream all during the daytime so I'll do evening streams mate, or maybe early morning streams like 6 a.m. till maybe lunchtime uh, <laughs> if we run the VOD of streams yeah I wouldn't do that to people though I wouldn't do that Okay, you tell me this many times. Okay, cool. Which I'll then promptly ignore. I remind you, Hatch, of quote 490. Let's 
put the old words of stream up. I'm going to go and look to the news. Alright, down for full house. Look what you could have won. Oh, that's easy. I've got one, I've got one, I've got one, I've got one. Ba 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 da ba da ba. Got it! Ha ha ha! Debunk! <laughs> you permitted uh, your public lock in FT. I don't think so. <laughs> ba 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 da ba da ba. I got debunk before anybody else. Yay! I'm happy now. I'm happy. Ba, ba, ba. I'll get a land and we'll nip to the loose and then um, while you do a bit of the old wordies on streams. Ba, 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 ba. Da, da, da. It has to be common in a minute. I'm getting hungry again. I'm getting hungry. Da, 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 But yeah, you know, if I if I can make enough money. You know, um, I, I, I would go full stream if I'm streaming. I know Brother Sebastian does it, um, Rayman's doing it. So, if I had enough to cover all the bills, I would. Be able to do more games, etc. Right, I'm down. Right, I'll be back in a minute or two, peeps. Back in a minute. I'm back. Oh, you're back as well. Cool. We're all back. Woohoo! I shall uh, let you do this level and then we'll sure get back to our regular scheduled programming. Oh, two. Oh, we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Tubebox Carvers is worth 11,873,200 credits. Bow, 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 bow. Right, we shall um, mute that. Go to there, do that, do that. Go back to there. Benton! I liked Barrett Wheelie for some reason. Well done, peace, well done. I'm back though. Hi. Oh shit, need to turn that off before someone moans at me. Dumb. No one saw anything. 
No sort of thing. Boobies. Yes. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba oh, quacky. We're 80 million credits already. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, two more two bass, and then we can fuck off and get the last two bass on the other moon. I'm not doing any other buyers, I'm being um, nitpicky. Cherry picking. Ramster, uh, been a long time since I've visited the stream. Well, hello, welcome in. How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice. Are we outside the second sample range? No. You have left the now first sample range. Up. Oh. There you go. You're feeling nippy nicky. Ah. How you doing, Ramster? Or Raw Master? Really nice of you. I don't know which way it is. Let me know. Oh, you got a crunch here. Thank crunch it's Tuesday. Yeah, it doesn't have the same thing as thank crunch it's Friday, does it? What that? Come on, Amazon, dispatch my parcel. Or did it put it out for delivery? It's getting so close to being out for delivery. <laughs> but is it ramster like hamster? Or is it raw meister? Yeah, I bet you do, dude. I bet. Yeah. I'm going to give it a week because um, I put the hard drive in yesterday. We're going to give it a week and see if the other PC blue screens. If it doesn't, then I would hazard it. It's good for doing the old streamy poos with. If it does, I don't know what else to do. We'll have to see what happens. You are outside the second sample You're waiting range. on the weeder for your brick path. Who are? What, a weed whacker or a weed killer? The old uh, strimmer, as it would be called in the UK, rather than the weed whacker, as they call it in America. Do, 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 do. <laughs> that music gets in your head, you know. No, the pole with a spike on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what they do. I don't know what you... Is it like a gardening implement or some description? I'll just spray weed killer on it if I was you. It'd be easier. Let it kill the weeds at the root. Depends on the streamer ferrets. I've got um, a... A Bosch heavy duty one where the it's rather than having the plastic on the white on the wheat reel, this is metal wrapped in like a hard tough plastic, and yeah, it'll cut your finger off, it'll cut your toe off. One, one. This, this thing's lethal. Well, it's F I wanted, wasn't it? F, yeah, F. Yeah, I've got one with the plastic jobby, uh, which I've had for years. I mean, Dad bought a new one uh, a few years back because he wanted to do some streaming down the, the side of the house. And it got to a point where he didn't need it anymore. And it's taken up room. And he said, well, do you want it? So I said, all right. Uh, I've now got two streamers. A cheapy old... Um, is it a Flymo one? Might be a flymo one, and I've got a, a, a big heavy duty Bosch one. It's really heavy. It needs a shoulder strap to help balance it, so. Which he keeps forgetting to give me. It's in the car, we both keep forgetting about it, so. I've overdosed the whole patch, and the weed just bounced back. Uh, what weed killer are you using out of curiosity, dude? Which, what, what brand is it? Because I got I tried a couple and they weren't very good. And I've got this other one, which is like, oh, fuck me, that's good. Um, I'll tell you what I've got. Hang on. Because I've got it for Amazon. Uh, my orders. Oh, 
this last year I got it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I got Resolver Pro Weed Killer and Resolver Lawn Weed Killer. That's what I got. And it does the job, dude. It really does do the job. You love, you love the look of brick driveways, but my old uh, three-ton different is too heavy, so we went in printed concrete. Ooh, wow. I bet it does, dude. Yeah, I bet, yeah. Yeah, it's got stuff that I can spray on the lawn, and it won't kill the grass, but it'll kill the weeds. And the other stuff is just for everywhere around, you know, where there's, there is no grass, and it it's bloody good. It is bloody, bloody good. And it doesn't have those um, those potentially cancerous chemicals in it. Um, this is what I got. I'll link it in there for you. Put it in the old chat for you, dude. That's what I got, that. Uh, it's bloody good stuff, I tell you. It's it might take a few days for it to, to um, you know, have an effect, but yeah, it definitely, definitely works. I've got some um, weed oil. I sprayed it on the stuff. It's like you've watered them with like baby grow. It, it did nothing. But that stuff killed it dead. Better than dead. Better than Domestos. All I need to do now is somehow uh, how get our Westie to stop digging the lawn after she pees. Tea bags. Put some used tea bags out there, dude. Try put some um you know, use tea bags on, on there where she digs. Apparently tea bags, you know, deter cats, foxes and dogs and stuff. They don't like the smell of it. That is also true, yep, yep, indeed, yep. The idea is you want the weed killer to get into the plant and it goes down into root and kill it at the roots. I'm gonna have to go out at some time when it gets warmer. Well I've got a shed. It's got um, broken stone as a base, you know, broken stone slab, slabs. And over the, the years, you know, the concrete, whatever's broken in between and the soil's getting, tend to give it a good old scrub out and then put some more um, mortar in there. You've got that stuff. Oh, cool. Okay. Nice, nice. I don't know if you, if peeps know, but if you on YouTube, on um, Amazon, um, if you want to do the short link, you know we've got the, the actual image, the big image. In the top right corner there's a box with a little arrow pointing up. And if you mouse over it, it says share. If you click it, you get an option to email it, pin uh, interest, Facebook, X, and copy link. Okay, it's got nothing on there if I want. And if you do copy link, you get a short URL. I don't know if any, everyone knew that. So you'd have to have put the big, long Amazon URLs in. That's an Amazon short URL. This is how I did the one I did. Obviously on a mobile it's a bit more difficult, but if you're on a desktop or even a tablet it might be doable. That's industrial strength herbicide and weed killer. That's a little bit much for the garden, I think. Maybe, possibly. The only problem with weed killer is I don't want it getting down the system. Um, yes, indeed, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I didn't know it until a little while back either. The spray on stuff is normally a lot better for it because you can spray it on the leaves directly. And the um, cats and that don't normally go for that. You would miss, you'd miss them, dude, if you got rid of your dog. Oh, someone's been there before. Wouldn't you? You'd miss them. Oh, why is it on again? Yeah, okay, it's off. a bit peckish though dinner time dinner time lunch time she's still with you but i couldn't love her anymore i exactly 
exactly, exactly. Well, they haven't done any DSSing. They've just come in here, done a fart of discovery and fucked off. I don't think in a, a West Indian recently passed at age 18. Aww. But then you've got three cats, haven't you, um, ferrets? True, true, but you know, there's not a lot you can do really. Just gonna think all up and we sand everything. Who are? We sand it, well they'll have a field day with that, wouldn't they, with the old um, litter tray. Oh look, there's a big sand pit there, I can go crap in it. Yeah, three furry overlords, I oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 42 objects. Woohoo! Now, will there be anything worthwhile in here? Oh, look, there you go. There's the old, um, as we talked about earlier, look. The glinting on the um, canopy. Need to re relay the uh, patio too, but I need a strong man to help with that. Ooh, ah. What about the house, mate? Or is that just a case of. <laughs> If you weren't so far away for it, so I'd come, I'd offer help. So, but you're a little bit too far away for that, I'm afraid. Uh, great age, our last wish you lived to 17. Oh. Oh, you got the look, did you? Lucky. Being in the world's countryside. Yeah, that's why that cat's visiting. It's the deer, rabbits, and squirrels that are giving an issue. What about foxes and badgers? Yeah, but you live too far away, ferrets. You live too far away, my dear. You're about 300 odd miles away from me, give or take. That's, you know. If you move closer, then be, that won't be a problem, but you know. Let's move down south. Oh, really? Okay. Interesting. You need to have some bit south of the Watford Gap. Oh, that's... Ooh. That'd be fighting talk, that'd be. There's bios in there, but I don't know if they'll be worthwhile and think... They're mostly going to be Bacterium and Fonty Watsits and not very uh, good ones either. Yeah, true, it is an easier food supply, definitely, yes. Yes, we have definitely um, changed some of the fox's habits, the old urban fox. Easy and free food, and people feed them as well. I don't know that people put out food for the fox, you think, oh, that's so cute. Not realising that foxes can carry diseases. Both animals can carry diseases, but you know, foxes aren't pets, they're wild animals. They haven't been tamed and domesticated like cats and dogs have. You have badges, do you? Oh, wow, yeah, foxes, but then we keep our distance, yeah, yeah. Yeah, foxes love them, and they're like cat biscuits to leave out. Oh, okay. But um, do they not attack the cats? Because I'm sure one of my cats years ago got bitten by a fox. And she on her back haunch and she had to go to the vets and I had to drain, you know, clean it out with uh, saline three day, times a day for a, a few weeks until it cleared itself up. Oh, they're indoor anyway, fair enough. They yeah, might have always been outdoor cats. They've always been able to roam free. If you've got a house, it's a bit different, but with a ground floor flat, having three cats, yeah, and they can't get out. Mm. I'd love to see a badger. We have a casual fox um, and a hedgehog. Oh, okay. 
I've got child cam images of foxes, cats, and basically in the same shot, just posing for the camera. <laughs> uh, you know what's going to happen uh, when you come on Thursday? No, hatch, don't you, dude? Badger, 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 mushroom. You shouldn't have said anything, dude. You shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. <laughs> Nowhere safe hatch. Nowhere. Oh, do you like my new gallery submission as well, by the way? That I sent you. I, I, I didn't see any comments, but I'm sure you must have loved it. I see the occasional hedgehog, but they're like garden vendor aren't really hog friendly. Oh. oh, yeah, don't give hedgehogs bread or milk. Apparently it kills them. You might think you're doing good, but don't give them bread or milk. It's bad for them. Yeah, I know, Blackie. Exactly, yep, yeah, exactly, dude. Badger, 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 mushroom. That's old uh, Sir Dr. Brian May, wasn't it? The old Badger Crusade. Even got Brian Blessed involved in it. Oh, I love Brian, he's awesome. I thought that was a pretty good one I, get, I, I put in the other day. That was pretty darn good. Yeah, the fox pick up a whole bowl and take it up the top of the garden. Wow. Madness. Right, we're missing one gas giant. It's got, oh, there it is there. There it is. Bad juice. You mean, you bastard. It all faced off, yeah. Well, I think I'm up to 27 entries into your gallery now on your stream, dude, don't I? Uh, let's give Hatch another shout out, shall we? While he's here. Now, Hatch did say he might be on this evening. Possibly. We don't know what time it do we, Hatch? Um, I guess it'll be after dinner, maybe. After you've done the family's dinner. Otherwise, he'll be back on Thursday, I think you said, didn't you? Yeah, Bacterium and Fonty Waltich, which are uh, not very worth my time. A million apiece. I'm on Amazon. You can do it. Yeah, normally you take Wednesdays off anyway, don't you? But you know, all good. Yeah, yeah. So watch that space. Watch that space of hatches. I'll be on tomorrow though. I'll be on. One way or another, I will be here. Be there. Like deployed. Hey Big Joe. Good day, dude. The stream has got infinitesimally that much better now that Big Joe's here. It was awesome before, but having a Big Joe here just increases it that extra smidge more. It enhances what the goodness and the awesomeness that we already had. All we need now is a Claire, a Claire Mysterium. And then um yeah. How many jumps have I got left? Oh, 16. Uh, came home one day, went to shut the chickens up for the night before it got dark, and walked into the stable to find a badger munching on one of my hens. No! Pa, dear. That's not good. That's not good. But, you know, unfortunately, when you have animals like that, it can happen, can't it? Can happen. <sighs> Thirty objects. Ooh, we've got the big Joe in the house. I see the big Joe on the old YouTube's, the tube of views. Oh, we is that a Kevin? No, it's a gas giant. Damn it, Janet. I haven't had very many um, Terry Fumbles or Kevins today. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They are carnivores. Or, 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 or badgers omnivores, aren't they? The omnivores, they are? I can't know. They're certainly carnivores. 
You saw one walking across the top of the hedges with a chicken hanging about its mouth. Wow. But they're part of the of, of nature, yeah. They've been here longer as long as we have. We encroach upon their territory. As it was. Oh you you are the bloody star. Oh okay, we want number four, because that's a Terry. A local sparrow hawk could like to visit our bird tables for occasion to get an avian murder death kill. Ooh ah. Ua, 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 ua. That we might talking of animals. It reminds me I've got the um, Attenborough's um, "The Secret of Sounds" to finish watching on the old uh, TV box. Quite interesting that was. How animals use sound both for attack and defence and whatnot. That's one in the um, Magellanic Clouds, I think. I think that's two, two or three episodes here to finish off watching. Got so many things I've set up to. I've got recorded now. It's just trying to catch up and watch everything. Used to get a sparrow hawk. They were getting loads of building, uh, doing loads of building. They must have disturbed his hunting grounds. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, my dad makes bird boxes. Not not for a living or anything. He just does it as a hobby. That um, you know, for friends and stuff. And uh, I think I think he's even made a few hedgehog boxes as well. Oh, we've got eight bows on that one. Ooh, nice. Is it going to be a really, really good pain one? We've not had any uh, options or any potential boxes today, unfortunately. It'll be lunchtime shortly. Alright, next ads, I'm taking my lunch break. We have some torched, a little bit of torched. A little bit of toast. Oh, cool. Look at that. What timing that was. What timing, Bruce? What timing? We can do a bit more of the old wordies on stream. We've got all those bios to do as well. Those lovely bios, potentially, if it's worth enough. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, see, English adventurer. There you go, look, dude. There you go. There you get your little, little shout out, dude. For those who might be interested in the old garden and whatnot, the English adventurer has a allotment channel where they put about on their allotment on YouTube. Uh, if you like the old garden stuff and you want to get some tips about the old uh, perennials and uh, whatnot, I pop over to the English Adventurers YouTube channel and see what they're doing. You're welcome, dude. You're welcome. How you doing, dude? How are you? Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Give us some views. Give us some subs if you enjoy his content. Right, let's have a quick look at the old Ujima Flippy. What do you call it? Um, by your insights. Uh, okay, this. Wow! Oh my giddy giddy! Oh, it's a water atmosphere. It's a water atmosphere. This this is going to be worth between fifty two and seventy five million corellarinos. Enough garden but allergies make it impossible most of the Oh, that's a shame. That's a poo. Tree pollen can fuck right off. Right, yes, so what we're going to do is I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to go to the old word is on stream. Bow, 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 You can do that. I'm going to fly a bit closer to this image, Iggy, and I'm going to go make some talks in a moo. And then we're going to go and do a water atmosphere and make an obscene amount of money from it. I haven't had a water at my fucking donkey's ages. Oh, I just spell souffle. Is there souffle in there? Oh, you've got, be lucky's got it. It's on it. Bear, bear in mind, there's a fake letter and a hidden letter. Well, the fact that three of you tried soup and. I don't. I think P. I know P is definitely one. 
So could the S be the fake letter? Could the S be the fake? Maybe, possibly, possibly, maybe, maybe. Anyway, you have fun with that. I'll be back in a few. If you're watching on Twitch um, and you've got the ads, sorry, if you're on YouTube and you want to play, scan the barcode or pop onto Twitch. I'll see you in a minute.
Wrong button. Sorry, wrong button. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where we going? Hit the wrong button. Sorry, wrong button. Jesus. You said a bad word. So a bad word? What bad word? What? Sorry, peeps. Sorry. Oh. Come back, come back. In case you hadn't noticed. What did you miss out on, Jadama? It's a four-letter word begin with um, either T or U. Well, let's begin with C. Let's not begin with either C or N. I'm um, two. There you go. See. But we're done. We're done. We're done. Right, meet there. Let's have a quick look at the leaderboard. Ruby. Oh, I've got one thousand messages today with Drew String Wowzers. Not that, that means diddly squat, but hey, you've been chatting like a, a mad one. Zippy, top of the leaderboard. Jadam, oh, you did well. You did well there, dude. Of course it was. Yes, there was. Yes, of course it was. Right, back to the game. Do some more letters. Right over the wings. Curmudgeon, such a terrible word, that is curmudgeon. We should do five A. Was it see you next Tuesday by any chance, Ferrets? It's so it's been typed in before. It doesn't work. You can't do swear words, it seems. It doesn't accept them. No. Uh, I tried it, others have tried it, it says, nah. Can't have that. You can't have that one. Andy, good day, dude. Crossing over here and two words is back. Okay, now it's dude. It'll be on the next time I take a, a proper break, which will be in about an hour or so. Uh, I've broken the ads up a little bit more. I'm trying different ways of doing the ad breaks, so. So now we've got one every half hour or so. Then when I take my next tea break, which will be in about an hour, we'll do the words, so. Or if I'm travelling a long distance in the stream, we'll do it then. Can't have it all the time, unfortunately. Um, When I looked this morning, and I'll double check it again, on the old watch hours, uh, it was a thousand and eighty-five earlier. I don't think it's gone up since then, but we'll have a look, skis. Yes, a thousand and eighty-five at the moment, dude. Uh, we're getting there slowly but surely. Currently on the old YouTube, so I've got eleven people watching me. This is awesome. We love us words, precious. I know, I know you do. I can't do it for an entire stream, otherwise it wouldn't be an Elite Danger stream, would it? It'd have to be a words on stream stream. I think that would get a little bit too um, 
Day Day. Get bored of it. Sergeant Pip Viper, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Good day. Lurk if you want. Chat if you feel like it. But all's cool. Ow. Strange that works on YouTube. It's going good, thank you. How's yourself? This found a moon with uh, eight bios, which are all a water-based atmosphere, which means it's worth a fuck ton of money. Cool beans, cool beans. How thoughtful. I'm curious now, so I'm just curious. Um. Because there's a cool down there, but why does that work on YouTube? It shouldn't have done. Oh, did you? Shit, dude. I see, I see, I see. Um, but I can always change that number if I want to, can't I? I have to sneak into a conservatory and put my machine in a drive so not my cat doesn't notice me. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Good luck with that. The cups. Why well, can't work out though, Hatch? Is why it doesn't work anyway? You've rewritten it entirely. Oh, fucking hell. Right, so what we've got here, we've got um, 55 to 63 million for this down here. Right, so we've got Contra and Fungoid, they're going to be the um, barter things to find. Does that mean you're going to re use it on your own bot as well? And also hatch. Okay, so we've got three detects, uh, okay. So Hatch, I know you don't like EDHM because you're, you know, weird. But having the plugin to do the bios, it makes it so much better. It gives, it gives you more options and flexibility with doing stuff. He wants to move in. Oh, bless. Is he not owned by anybody? But you see, it helps me identify where the potential places are to go. Hmm. Definitely, okay. If you're going to get a benefit from it as well, mate, even better. Gotcha, gotcha. Ah, oh, because you've mostly got a very lovely house, then that's why. Lovely person, lovely house. And I still need to make this up for you, don't I, Ferrets? I keep forgetting. I keep on getting distracted by other things. I shall force myself to do it later. Hmm, I bet. He's going to sort of um, just spend his days in peace. Without being an asshole by kids. Ba, 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 da, ba. Oh, bless.
Night vision. Now it's the words on stream music. Ah, oh, bless. But you see, hatch, this is why night vision is such a good thing to use. I can see back, I can see stuff down there. So I turn night vision off. It's very hard to see it down there, but with night vision on, it stands out. Now that much, much more easily. So. You can see it more clearly now the day has come. See all the obstacles in my way. Oh, my, my musical tastes are very electric anyway. Very eclectic even. Uh, classical, rock, pop, disco. Um, yeah. Some trance music maybe occasionally. Anything other than dubstep pretty much. Code entry, yay! I don't really care what the genre of music is. If I like it, I like it. You know, I like cut some country stuff. Cry out loud, so. Ooh. They're not coat, they're not blue diamonds or anything else, but they're just um, variants. I think what he got. So. so that's a uh, cactoid and through texture. He actually could have done it like the, uh, the old knit vision. But there's um, Concha. There he's our found stuff hatch. See how easy it is, dude. It's a piss. I've never heard any good dubstep. Oh, nice one, Pepper. Hey, it doesn't matter, dude. And good luck. And hello, by the way. How are you? Dubstep is just wop 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 into me. 19 mil? Hey, you can make that much easily. Make that back easily. Right, let's have a look around at what we've got. Your spot is now staring at the back door. Oh, God. Oh, well. And. Come on, the buttload of credits. Yeah, yeah. But easy, my easy credits are easy to make in the Elite Dangerous, they really are. We've got a cactoid, we've got a fungoid, and we've got, um, we've got Timmy Jiggy there, Concha there, Kaki Toyota there. There's Fruity Texo around here as well. All we need is the Funny Goida. Is there Funny Goida here? There's also Fun Goida around here somewhere as well. Yeah, too, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not yours. And if you keep letting me in, you only encourage it. There you go, there's a fruity texture there. So, we should get out in the buggy and we should go draw around and get some stuff. Reset camera. Oh, we have fun goiter. Oh, 
We have to find Goida. Do 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 do. Which anyway, which Beauty and the Beast is talking about? The Disney version or another version? The idle curiosity. There we go. I'm not supposed to boring grid, I know, right? Boring grid. I think what's that? We we'll do this through Texas first, we'll go find that. I don't finish off my toast. Frigg's Ponzi is worth 5,988,000 credits. Gotching! There's no cactoid over there. You see, I found some fruit text over there that I wouldn't have seen otherwise necessarily. <clears throat> If I drive up this hill, I might get lucky. All right, well, you'll get there, my dears, you'll get this. What we'll do, because that's them um, concha down there. Wake up. Set waypoint one. Concha. Waypoint set. Be you are outside the here. first sample range. Invasion time, it's like the 2017 film, but then I do have a thing for Emma Watson. A what? Be lucky? A what? Where'd that come from? That was like a bit out of the blue, wasn't it? Okay, over the hill, far away. Harder punk, but maybe not. Yeah, I never got into punk. Never, never was into punk. A lot of punk was just noise. For me. Oh, about Beauty and the Beast. Oh, okay. Sorry, you, you caught me out there, dude. <laughs> so if I take the one for this this side. Uh, before we take, let's see if I can see anything else around here. Range to waypoint one. Two hundred and eleven meters. Set waypoint three. Culture. Waypoint set. I've never watched any of the Beauty and the Beasts. Wouldn't know if any are any good or not. And to be honest, I've got no inclination to watch them either. Oh, I see. I I see some concha over there. Okay, and um, food, fruity texture. Cool. Right. We can grab this stuff. Where's it gone? There it goes. There. I've seen bits of them here and there, but you know, never wanted to watch them at all in their in their entirety. Not really my cup of tea, let's be honest. Not my cup of tea. No. Oh. I will think it was this way anyway. So right, I've got a banana to, to nosh on as well. 
Look at the old potassium and stuff. Good for that. You have left the second sample range. Here's my dears. Oh, fuel's at 25%. Need to fix that so it does it more efficiently. Okay, so we got a uh, contra over there. I swear I saw fruity taxi nearby as well. Have I gone past it? I didn't know she did a Beauty and the Beast film either, dude, so. I don't think I really ever know her for was um, old Harry Potter. How did we go over there? Beep, beep. It's in Burke. <clears throat> then we could do the old concha as well. Get that out of the way because we know where those are. Range to waypoint three. Three hundred and twenty-nine meters. Shop it. I can find a concha nearby. There's one over there, that'll do. Oh, another ad break in a minute. We'll bang the word of stream. I'm not going to take a break, but. Andy, words on stream in a minute, dude. Get ready for the words on stream. You yeah, also free text over here as well. Biological discovery made. Woohoo! Get me. No, 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 no. Just better say so. Oh, good. Matt G wasn't here. Be good, be good, be good. Canchery in Ibus is worth 4,572,400 credits. Cha-ching! Guide me to waypoint three. Zero three two. Six hundred and twenty-seven meters. Zero three zero. Five hundred and fifty-one meters. Zero three zero four hundred and eight. You are outside meters. the first sample range. Zero three zero four hundred and twenty seven meters. I'm there in it, I think. Zero three 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 hundred and sixty one meters. I need to sort of hazel now for hatch if he wants it. Two hundred and ninety five meters. Zero three five. Two hundred and thirty four meters. Put this up quick. Zero three five. Two hundred and thirty four meters. Zero three five. Two hundred and thirty four meters. Zero three five two hundred and twenty two meters. 
bang, boom, bang, boom, bang, boom, bang, boom, bang. One hundred and seventy five meters. Zero five zero. One hundred and fifty one meters. Oh, guidance. Waypoint guidance stopped. It's on the fifty meters. Cool. Um, right, get out. Bow, bow, bow. Any options? Any hello to you, hello, hello, how are you? Continue guidance. Waypoint guidance continuing. Zero five nine. We're good, cool beans. One hundred and forty four meters. Zero six five. Eighty six meters. Zero seven one. Thirty five left the second sample range. One zero seven. That's the guidance. Four me waypoint guidance stopped. You didn't do it, peeps. You didn't do it. Oh my god. No, level five. No. <laughs> Alright. Got another chance. Game over, man. Game over. You were there, man. Alright, let's um, speed this up a bit. We'll be lucky you're leading currently. Restart. Boobies. Yeah. More like poo. Okay, we'll go over there for the cactoid. I think that's 300 meters cactoid. Yes! Got it! But ya! Ha <laughs> ha! I got one, Ma. I got one! I got the big word. Off to get the big words. Excuse me. This will be the last bit and then we'll work back to the game. Was that 200 or 300? I can't remember. 300. Yes, we go over and do this one over here. A bit more range. Bins! Yes, yeah, bins. Yeah, it's not bin day today. At least not down mine. It's not bin day for Hatch either. That's uh, Thursday. Snib, okay. Are you gonna? Are we gonna fail on level one? Don't think we're gonna fail on level one, peeps. Come on. Got two points to get. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Two points. Who got it? Who got it? Hey, it's folks your head. Got it. In, not the Toy Eater Vermis is worth sixteen million two hundred and two thousand eight hundred credits. Good on bison. Yeah, yeah. Nobby knobs. Good old uh, this world. And, yeah, there we go. Have we got that already? Nabs, nice one options. Nabs. But you did it, you did it. Nice ones. Fantastic. Two levels skipped. Woohoo! Right, we're going to um, pause this now then. Go back to the game. Vengeance! Oh no, wait, dude! Don't, no, no, you can't, you, you um, you can't be good all the time, dude. You have Don't left the it. first sample Don't range. It. It's all good. It's all good. We've got, we've got the level. We've got the level. That's all that matters. Yeah, you did first. You did. You did well. Even I did well for me. Yeah, I've got a big word. Yay! Look at me, Mark.
hope to find some over this way, but I have to go to the uh, vessel. Yeah, it was a good shout that one. I just saw the letters and it jumped in my head. <clears throat> good old pattern recognition. Sometimes you just see things, don't you? And it just instantly clicks in the old noggin. Still need to find the fungoid, though. Uh, but we found um, three out of however many we've got in here. How many you've got in here? Three out of eight. So, you know, nearly halfway there. Living on a prayer. We're going to make it, I swear. Hatch has gone incredibly quiet all of a sudden. I know he's got to go and uh, take cargo hatch out soon. Chances are he's off doing lunch as well before they go. How thoughtful. Ah, cool. Cheers for that, dude. Although I'm not quite sure about the orange juice, but hey, well, you know. Some people like it. Do, 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 do. Did you ever hear about the old, um, you know, don't mix, you know, don't have like milk and orange juice at breakfast? Uh, but, you know, if you've got milk in like your cornflakes and you have a glass of orange juice, it can make the milk curdle make you sick. Does that ever ring a bell with anybody? You like it as well, do you, Adventure? Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, exactly. I think my mum used to tell me that as well. You have left the second oh, yes. sample range. Yes, yes, yes. And there was the other one, wasn't it? Um, don't swim on it when after you've eaten, which is bollocks. You know, eating after you go swimming. Nah. Um, don't go out with your hair wet, otherwise you get a cold. That was another one. Actually, quite a pretty one this is, actually. Look at that. All those purple uh, flowers on the end of it. Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it, about that? If the wind faces changes your face for tick like that, yeah, that's a really stupid one, wouldn't it, that one? Or is it that one, um, I'll wipe that smile off the other side of your face or something. Another weirdy one. Try a bit of the old um, camera trickery. Oh, could art we tow? Well, you know, I try. Go the other way, I think. If the other PC holds up but it doesn't blue screen for next week, I will do the the, um, the paint streams. There you go. That looks good. I like that. Hey, cheese. Not Banksy, no. Miniature figure painting. The show reflection from a watch my grand called that Johnny no Johnny Noddy. Who oh. are Johnny Noddy? Interesting. Oh, that reminds me. That's the other thing. Um, I wanted your opinion, and we'll wait till I've taken the screenshot. But you know, I do the YouTube videos. Yeah, I've never heard that one either. And I do like the thumbnail picture. My mate Richie said, you might want to maybe make them a little bit more interesting rather than having that plain background, which is the voice attack window. Might want to put like an image from the, the video 
So I've, I've, I've got a few th suggestions. Hang on, uh, let's go into uh, find it in. Where did I put them? I'll be in there, wasn't it? Yes, in there. Da 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 da. In there, and it was in that one. Ah! Ow! Ow! This is what I normally do on the the video. Yeah, just that. Because it's about voice attack, you know, so voice attack window, yeah. That's how I had that. And I come up with a couple of variations. There's this one. This is about subsystem targeting, yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. But I wasn't quite happy with how the the toad was because it's kind of cut. If it had the whole body, yeah. But Mm. Yeah, pink caravan for catch. Catch has got a pink caravan. Did you not know that, Zippy? And then I come up with this one instead, using the other toad I got that I did off of the old uh, AI. Instead, and then I tweaked it a little bit more, and I come up with uh, this one. One, 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 um, that one. There you go. But I'll put a little bit of a glow around the text. What do you reckon? Which one do you think is better? Which one do you think you, yeah, do you like the best? I quite like that one myself, the last one. Hey, cool dog. How you doing, dude? Nice to see you. See you nice. You well, you good? You like the last one? Yeah, I, th I, I do. I do. Yeah, it, I like the the glow around it. <clears throat> the first one, it had drop shadows on it. So on there, you've got the drop shadows and the this, like, you know, um, glow around it to make it stand out a little bit. But when you do that on the black you can't see the drop shadow yeah it doesn't there so that's why i did the other one i did that one which i prefer i prefer that one definitely yeah cool cool nice one or oh, just get opinions on it so now we need the old funny goida cake the cake Go ahead. Oh, dude, Rest thank you for the bits. Day. You legend. Thank you so very much, dude. Much, much appreciated. Oh, I feel all warm and fuzzy now. <laughs> ah, cheers, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to have a relevant screenshot still for the actual video. Yes, yeah. It was the voice attack thing, which was relevant to the video, because it's all about voice attack and whatnot. Um, but my mate said having something like a graphic will make it stand out more, and it's not necessarily wrong. Yeah, we shall see. Just means I have to go through and change all the, the thumbnails and all the videos. <laughs> oh god! Right, so now we need the fun of Goeda. I mean, I cheated on that one. I just went in after you know, yesterday and took a screenshot of the game and just, you know, put it in instead. Nice. All this fun going. You see, look, hatch, hatch, look, look, hatch, hatch. If you hear hatch, hatch, hatchy poos if you hatch here. Look, see, fun goida. I'll turn that off. A bit harder to see it, but there, straight away, fun goida. Right, pinpricks of light on the ground. Fungoida gelata. But unless you're actually looking at it full screen, you can't really see the voice tech thing, so I get where that's coming from. But having sort of, you know, that, it's sort of bosh, is a lot, a lot better. So.
Yeah, well, that's why I've kept it that font with the colour. So, and I've got it as a PSD on um, Photoshop, so I can tweak it and change it as I need to, move things around, and all the different layers and stuff. But the image is separate to the text, which is separate to the background. Sometimes I'll use like a blue colour instead of the orange. We've got the first of the old fungoida. Didn't tell me how much it was worth though for some reason. How weird. Right, can I see any more of the old fungoida nearby? So if, look, go. There's a patch over there to my left. This is why you always look around, peeps. Always look around using the old Camerooni. Go change your angle. So you should go. Look, see now I can't see it. It's moved. how nebulous things can be with the old graphical settings, you see? Found it again. Ouch, mother ground. All I need now is that magical thing from Hazel. You have left the first sample range. And right on cue. Oh, am I good at this or what? Am I good? That's what I was trying to do, Zippy, is have the standard fault and stuff. Um, and just, you know, try to keep things consistent. On brand, as they would say in the old marketing world. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So I do listen to feedback. If it's you know, if I, if I agree with it, I'll go with it. If I disagree with it, I won't. Bob, 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 bob. Help sure you to the videos in a search. Yes, exactly. That's it. That's what which you were saying to me. I've got something that stands out a bit of colour, etc. Vibrancy. That's why I thought we'll put the glow around the text as well. Make it stand out a little bit. We'd have to look around a bit more of that one. One more fun, Greta. Where are you hiding? Come and show yourself. I need a you wee. You have left the second sample range. Yeah, fun, Greta. Come and show yourself to me. I need a break so I can make some tea. There you go. See, look, you sing and it pops up. I told this to Hatch the other day. He didn't believe me. Hey, bloke, good day. Nice to see you, bloke. Use that to land. Oh, Lucky's off a lurky. No worries. You look away, dude. See how easy I found that fun goy to hatch. Night vision. Told you, dude. Night vision and external camera. It helps massively. Now we just need to find the other four, um, which we go up and come back down again for. The other thing I want to try and do is, is um, description thingy jiggies, you know, lengths, year lengths or whatever, you know. But I'm not sure how to do that with the old um, thingy jiggies. You know, like subscriber length, you know, you'd be like you know, a year or whatever. I don't know how I do that on the thingy jiggies. Could be in there somewhere. I don't know if it's on the emotes section or what. 
Any chance of a cup of tea around here? Do, 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 do. I don't know how you get it to add it, so it's got like the um, the time on it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Harry? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Harry? Go it up. What well, you know when you get like on the subscriber badges, it says that like, you've been like twelve months or something, make them custom or whatever. Like, you know, Zippy's been a 14 month subscriber. Uh, Be Lucky's been a 30 month subscriber. They show the number. If you like a year, eight, you know, two years or whatever. Some people have been sub to me for like 76 months, which is like seven years, six, seven years or something stupid, which is mental. Awesome, but mentals. Uh, that's what I was thinking, yeah, yeah. But I didn't know if that, because someone, you see subs on some streams, they've got like a number on it, like 12 months, 24, whatever. Um, I didn't know if there was a way of automating that. Okay, he's got a stratum. Uh, we've done a few detects with, with tussock, uh, bacterium, cactoida. We've done cactoida, clypus. There we go, clypus. It's a bit hard to see that as well as a, a sub emote on the next year name. So what I might do is I might use the orange space toad and I can put a number on the chest or something maybe or just change the colour of the suit maybe in old photoshoppy. What's she done you proud? Oh, she, oh did you pass? Is that a pass? Did you get a pass? Did you get any advisories? <sighs> Three years on the chop with no advice. Oh, dude, that just shows you look after her. It's car, this is the car, you know. Well done, dude. Well done. It shows you put some care and attention into the car. I don't know why you should be able to. Hang on, let me just hang on. Are you in the chat at the moment? Be like, um, you should be able to. Let me change something. Hang on, let me see if I can change something. Hang on. Um, the switch does weird things sometimes. So that one maybe. Um, try now, be uh, bloke. Try now. Try now. See if that works. Would you not showing up in the viewer list? Not showing up in there, so it's, well, the switch is just being laggy, which, is, which happens so. Next job, get to the shopping. Ooh, okay, back in the min. No worries. I did my shopping yesterday. I do it every Monday if, unless it's pissing down with the rain. Get in early, get out, and shake it all about and do the hokey cokey. I can see all the bacteria, not the bacteria, I can see the stratum. Uh, they're supposed to be cactoida down there. I can see tussock now. Well, that's Clypus, actually, Clypus, you see? My vision is a breeze. It makes it so much easier doing the old XO bio. It really does. Yes. Um, 
Let me just hang on. Oh, that's it. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Give me a second. Uh, don't do that. Right, that should sort you out now, dude. That should sort you out now. Now I can see you. I can do something. So, if you do something again, you should be good. So. Which works in mysterious ways. Now, I'm going to be clever and hopefully, if I can. Welcome back, Alexa. Welcome back. Potters have a second stickers bar. Ooh, ah. Oh. Tusk oh, Kurgan is dude. worth 14,313,700 oh, credits. Cheers, dude. <clears throat> oh, the only treat size. Oh, yeah, have another one then. Yes. How, how are you feeling after the hedge yesterday, Obadiah? I should really be in the buggy for this. Oh, I bet you are, dude. I bet you are. That bloody tetra of yours sounds like it's a monster. You have left the first sample range. You did. Started at ten feet. Fucking hell, dude. And I moaned about doing my hitch. Jesus. You stop for now. I don't blame you, dude. I don't blame you. I mean, my head you is... You inside the first sample range. From the ground, it's most probably about six foot tall. But it's only about a foot, a foot and a half wide. Oh, that's coming up in a minute. I'll have um, a nip to the loo and grab myself a cup of tea. But it's not a very big catch. You know, it's only you know, not very big at all. But it has. It has come a long way. You are outside the first sample range. Outside the second you are sample outside range. the second sample range. Yeah, I do mine like maybe three, four times a year. I do, you know, to keep it tidy because it's on the front and it's on the the, the pavement. So if it gets too bushy, you are it gets in people's way. Sample range. So shut you are up, inside you. the first sample shut range. Shut up. I've done it, girl. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Get the uh, we could do the clipers next as well. I will get the um back in. I'll get the clipers, jump in the ship, and then um I'll do the words of stream. I'll go make a cup of tea and have a wee. Yeah, water atmosphere. Yes, eight bios. Um, between fifty five and sixty five mil, Alexa. Fifty five and sixty three, should I say, depending upon the species. Cha-ching! Indeed, Lee Doodlies. Yes. And I should be getting the first log bonus as well, which means um, even more money. That's quarter of a million credits at least, at the minimum, for one uh, one moon. Clypeus Lacrimum is worth 8,418,000 credits. So. Okay, 55 to 56 million now. Now we've narrowed it down a little bit. It's just the um, bacteria, which species of bacteria it is. Make a difference. Right, I will put up the word is on stream. What for him to go and sample and whatnot? So there we go. Have the words on stream. I will be back in a minute or three with my cup of tea. Uh, have fun, knock yourselves out, and I'll see you in a minute or two. If you're on YouTube, you can come and play either by using the scan and the code or twitch.tv forward slash fiery toad. Get that V, indeedly doodlies, yes. I don't think he's that bothered by it either. Uh, anyway, I'll be back in a minute or two, peeps. Have fun.
My mother thanks you. My father thanks you. My sister thanks you. And I thank you. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Took me a bit longer than usual, but hey. Right, we're gonna pause it, hang on. Mm. Boobies, yes, boobies. Not bad, double eight. Not bad, right, Back to the, uh, the game, shall we? Back to the game. Brenton! So I need uh, two more Clypus. Only 150, so they should be relatively easy to get. There's one there, I think. Uh, getting a buggy. Yes, I did. Well done, Pete. Well done. You clever bunch. Welcome back, Tim Man. Welcome back. He's got the shopping in. Oh. That's some more minutes. Right, Clypus. Boob. Oh, God. 
I just started reading it and I saw you the are answer. Outside the first sample range. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. You all sorted, you can sit down now. You sound like you've uh, earned a rest, dude. A nice cup of tea or coffee. Maybe a chalky biscuit or something. Wait, another raid! Well, Danny! My father thanks you! My sister thanks you! And I thank you! Welcome in, Danny. How are you? It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. Nice. Um, why sometimes when I get raided it triggers a, um, a hype train? I do not know. <clears throat> For some reason, it triggers a hype train. Any idea why that happens? That's why you get the choo choo, because it triggers a hype train. How you doing, Andy? Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. What was you up to? Um, what was you doing? My mother thanks you. No one. Oh, cool. My father thanks you. My sister thanks you. And. I thank you. Well, my slim place, no one or not. Go ahead, make my day. Black Eagle, Mr. Russ, thank you for the follows. Much appreciated. Look, if you want chat, if you feel like it, all's cool. Hey, here. Another one. Ooh. My mother thanks you. My father thanks you. My sister thanks you. And well, I okay, thank you. I don't know. I don't know, Emma. I don't know, me dear. Oh, thank you for the bits, uh, Alexa. Thank you much. A little choo-choo. Woohoo! Can we get a level one? Can we get to level one? Because something happens when we go up a level on the hype trains. No. But it happens at random, Emma. You know, I've had two uh, raids earlier and nothing. And then Wild Annie comes in. Thank you very much. I get a hype train. Snuggle Bumblebee. Cool name. Hello. My thank you. Thank you. Oh, more from the English adventurer. An Obadiah. Oh, dudes. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and a gift sum. For those who just followed, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ, you're going mad, you lot. Look at that fluffy unicorn. He's so fluffy. I'm going to die. My mother thanks you. My father thanks you. My sister thanks you. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thank you. <laughs> okay, that was a mad five seconds. But, oh, Jesus. So, if you just came in and followed, uh, thank you very much for the follows. Much, much appreciated. And the Blitz, the Miss Blowdry, uh, Ferrets, well, Obadiah, English that. Adventurer, and a uh, Rune Priest. Thank you for the gift sub to Emma. Thank you very much, you lovely, lovely lots. More bits. Jesus Christ. More bits. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sure it will be, FX, I'm sure it will be. Oh, Jesus, you lot. You lot, you lovely bunch, you awesomes. You bring the warm cockles to the heart, you do. But for those who are coming from any stream, uh, this is completely different to uh, Snow Runner. This is a game called Elite Dangerous, where you uh, literally can fly around the Milky Way galaxy in spaceships. And you can visit any of the stars in the game, unless they're permit locked, but hey. Well, hopefully, hopefully, uh, um, Obadiah, I wish. Oh, really? You are outside the second sample range. So it's set in the Milky Way galaxy with a one-to-one -one representation where you have 400 of billion stars. Systems. Star systems. What was that, FX? What was that? What did they make for you? There's 400 billion star seasons, I'll show you in a second. You can visit nearly every single one of them, including Sagittarius A star. The uh, supermassive black hole at the Milky Way galaxy. What picture? Oh, that one. Oh, what the um, thing on Hatch's Discord, yeah. There you go, Sagittarius A star, Milky Way. So Earth is over there somewhere. In that little cluster there, and I'm all the way over here. Heading out towards the furthest system from Sol Isum's Reach. Which is all the way over there. That one, yeah, yeah. That one. Right, Stratum, whatever this is next. 
But when you say do something with it, what do you mean? We have, have we not got to level one? I think I can maybe help with that a little bit. I, think I can maybe help with that a little bit. Because I have things saved up for this occasion. Uh, is it that one? It's that one I think is, isn't it? Yeah, hang on a minute. How many have I got on there? Okay, let's do... Um, Right back, do that and kick it over. Move Whatever back graphics so that can make it twitch remote tiny. I can most probably do that. I can most I can mostly do that. Did we do it? Did we kick it over? Did it go over? Or did it finish? What happened to the um, hype train? That didn't finish, did it? It's gone, really? Oh poo. I thought we had plenty of time. Oh well, never mind. Never mind, never mind. There's always another day. You tried people's, and that's all that matters. I appreciate it. Uh, right, what am I doing out here? The big patch of old. Um, I'm over there. Some over there to my left. Let's have a look at that on the old disky poos. Um, I want a quick look at the picture. Oh, what's going on with bloody Horner now? Oh dear. There are more things going on with Red Bull. And Christian Horney. It's probably after a party software broke Twitch last night. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. Maybe. I kind of saw bits and pieces about it, but I didn't pay any attention to it, so... Um, okay, so I want to go... Right turn, Clyde. Memphis, hello. Welcome in. Nice to see you. Oh, room piece of a look. Do you want to remove the background, do you, ferrets? Well, I could just make that as an emote with the background as well. Although you'd have to have kind of been been there moment, wouldn't it? So I don't know. Would it would it work as an emote? When well, it could be an emote, but I don't know. Um, it's one of those few there moments. Pays is worth one million three hundred and sixty two thousand credits. As I don't think it will be big enough to be worth being as an emote itself, even without the background on it. How far are we from the ship? Not enough. Quick question: uh, How do you get the SRV topped up? Ah, right. Okay, so. If you go to modules, if I make that, there you go. You go up to the fuel tank. There's two ways of doing it. Click on it. How thought? You go down to refuel. You see, I thought you can either use uh, sulfur and phosphorus, or they basic. Standard is those four: sulfur, phosphorus, arsenic, or mer mercury, which gives you 100% fuel efficiency. Or premium gives you 200%. But you don't really need them, to be honest. Uh, Phosphorus and sulphur is just so abundant. And then you hit that, the refuel SRV, and it will fuel it up. Same for refuel, uh, rearming it as well. So if you go up to the uh, do, 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 Julia Peters, you can go down to rearm. Or you can go to gift. the inventory, go down to synthesis, and you can do it from there as well. No, no, you have to, the only way you can refuel your SRV is either, is basically to do it that way. It, when you dock your SRV back in the ship, it repairs its hull, but it does not rearm it and it does not refuel it. You 
can only refill your ship from a star if you've got a fuel scoop and it's scoopable. The ship takes hydrogen, the buggy takes sulfur and phosphorus as the basic. That's right, dude. Okay. One of those things, it happens. There's things in the game I still don't know, so I've been playing it for like 10 years. Synthesis is your friend. When I go out on a, on a trip, I stock up on all the raw materials for synthesis. And the SRV shields do not protect it from weapons damage. Only, only don't take it. Don't, it doesn't protect it from terrain damage. It only protects it from weapons damage, which is why I turn my shields off. Because it saves a bit of fuel. It's not a lot, but over you know, a period of time, it makes a, a big, big difference. on the old synthesis you can do the fsd injections which give you extra jump range there's just a one shot use you've got your 25 your 50 and your um 100 bonus you can do weapons ammunition limpets you can synthesize limpets AFM refills for your AFMU unit, heat sinks, chaff, redo your life support. So yeah, loads of stuff you can do. You have left the first here. sample range. And yeah, synthesis is an awesome thing. Just need the, the materials to do it and normally manufactured. I don't think you need any data to do synthesis. I can't remember, you, but when you, if you do refuel and rearm, at a station, I can't remember if that refills the SRV or not. Can't remember. I think it only does the ship, I think. I'll have to test it at some point. It does. I, th I couldn't remember if it did or it didn't, so. Yes, dude. Bonus is I've never really noticed range. if it did. Yeah, that's the other thing you can do then, is if you go to a station, do refuel, rearm and repair, that'll uh, top up the old SRV Whatever tools. I never. Yeah, cheers, Wolf, thank you. Oh, we would add a wee sub there. That's um, Tim Man. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you, you legend. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <sighs> I'll be arsed. Just land me, baby. Land me. No, dude. No, no. Don't worry, dude. Don't worry. He was in your mobile, so yeah, don't blame us. And the hype trains, whilst they're good and whilst they're fun, um, you know, it doesn't matter. The fact that you're here and that you know and you're being generous, whether we get a hype train or not, the hype trains just give you emotes, didn't they? They give you emotes. Who well, they are? But I do appreciate thy generosities. You lovely, lovely bunch of peoples. Oh, it's out for delivery. It's out for delivery. It'll be here between half past four and half past seven. Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you very much indeed. Much appreciated that sub there, your legend. Oh, bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you, Black Sheep, dude. Thank you. It has been a long road and I have made it and I couldn't have done it without you lot. 
And I keep saying it, but it's true. If it wasn't for yous, I wouldn't have been able to do it. How you doing, black sheep? How are you, dude? I tried to do this manually. Baking after dark. No, 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 no baking today. No. So it arrives between half past four and half past seven this evening. That most would be after I've finished. No, I won't do anything today. What I'll do is I'll make some dough up tomorrow after I finish streaming. That can sit in the fridge overnight to ferment and in, uh, improve its flavour. And then I'll um, make the bread Thursday morning because I can leave it to prove in the mornings. If I did it tonight, I wouldn't have any time tomorrow. Because it normally, I normally let it prove for a couple of hours. I, I take it out of the bowl and make it into the shape I want and then leave it for about an hour or so to, to rise, to prove. Um, I'll make, well, and then I'll make it, re redo it, and then leave it another hour or so, so it gets a double rise. Makes it light and fluffy. I've got to preheat the oven and everything else. So yeah, it would take me two to a half hours to get it ready and then cook it. And unless I got up at stupid o'clock in the morning, I wouldn't have time to do it tomorrow. So I'll, I'll do it for Thursday. Right now I need to find the old bacteriums. Bacteriums! Oh, there's some to my left. Isn't that just handy when you find it like that. Bink. Did I do the old um stratum? Did I do the stratum? I think I did do the stratum, didn't I? Anyway, by that time it wouldn't be dark because it's um daylight. They uh, have for longer now, isn't it? Yeah, I did. Um, right, well, there are ways of doing it. This is my preferred method, is toad mode. But if you look down, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or ten bacterium there, right in front of me. Use the external camera. It's there for a reason. Not just for pretty screenshots. Also, have the composition scanner deployed and active. So as you're flying across the landscape, you can point the uh, reticle over it and it will flash if there's anything there. And also, listen to the um, bleep of the uh, image again. Right, hang on. I mute the music for two secs and turn the game engine, the game audio up. That's an eight point. Okay, so listen to this. Listen. Hear those boinks? And it's stereo as well. Once you take the sample, it's not it doesn't do it anymore until you get to the next available sample. Bacterium Taylor is worth one million nine hundred and forty nine thousand credits. Very very handy that is. That's not Covas. That ain't Kovas, that's, that's Hazel. Uh, yes, uh, Bacterium Informium is worth 8.4. There's another one which is worth about four, I think. But there's a couple worth o o around, you know, over two mil. It's uh, it's, it's my ha Hazel, it's, it's not Kovas. It's a profile I made in Voice Attack. You can fly like this. And of course, I've got the old composition scanner out as I move, move over things. I get close enough. They highlight, they flash. Feel like a flash is there, so there's something there. But it doesn't work in a big ship as easily because you've got the, the nose pointing down. So I go into what we call toad mode. And you can see there's one, two, three, there's yeah, five bacteria in there. As you move around, it can change colour. But you see it changing there? You have left the first sample range. I 
if you go low and slow, you'll see it more easily. You've also got a bow in, so I actually do something similar. Shout out, hang on. Alice, shout out bow insights. That's why I've got you, Alice. SRV, SRV survey does something similar as well. But I wrote the voice act profile for me to do the things I wanted it to do. I could also set waypoints on a planet surface and get myself guided to them. If I'm doing multiple bios like this, I can set a waypoint for each different bio and then get a guidance back to it. You are outside the second sample range. Yes, it is. Go to sleep. There's any number of tools out there that can make your gameplay more fun and uh, less hassle. Oh, okay, I saw that. I saw that Tin Man. Bloody hitbox sometimes. There you go. What, she's done 235,000 miles, dude? Jesus Christ, dude. That's, that's done a lot of miles. He's, that's done a lot of miles. Bowsers. That's why it's part of the chip bag. <laughs> oh, that's coming up in a sec. Right, so we are done with this planet, I think, this moon, I do think. Yes, and it was worth a staggering 56.1 million credits. No, you don't want to go in there, Bruce. Go away, what, that one there. But voice is an amazing bit of software that lets you control your PC by mainly voice. Although I'd um, do a lot of it automation and key presses for Elite. Pepper, are you here, Pepper? Are you here, Sergeant Pepper? I'm assuming, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're Commander Pepper on the old uh, NX Discord. Are you here, Sergeant Pepper? I know you're here earlier. I'm assuming you're the same person. If you're not Apologies, but sort of similarities in the name. Ba da ba 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 da ba ba because they're asking about settlement defence plans. The dreaded settlement defence plans, which are not to be dreaded because there's a, a much easier way of getting them. Uh, no hassle, no fuss. It just takes a little bit of time. Once you find them, you're laughing all the way to the leads. I can share it if you want me to. Oh, yep, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did it most probably. I've, I've told numerous people, so. If anyone's vaguely interested in the old STPs, uh, check out that link there and explain how to do them. Any more miles would be catching Jameson's cover up. <laughs> I 
I don't know a while to go yet on that, I think, Tim Man, because that was in light years. We've got some stuff in here as well. Nice, 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 nice. And that was a 2.3 billion on the old XO Bios. Yeah, the old uh, set with defence players are not to be feared anymore. Really are not. Yeah, it does work. Well, it's not my method. I didn't discover it. Someone else discovered it. I just share it with people, so. I take no credit for discovering it at all. None whatsoever. Um, True, true. But I bet it's done more than 247,000 miles. How did it get to where it was if it didn't have a jump drive, eh? Mm hmm There's some gas giants. I know there's at least one bio in that little cluster, so I'll have to have a look here in a second to see what it wasn't. I don't know. I, I, I don't pay much attention to the law stuff. It's a game, I play the game, I have fun and enjoy it. You know, the law, whatever else. Mm. <laughs> it's all made up. It's all made up, Ian. It's not real. It never happened, Bruce. It never happened. Ah. <laughs> There's no Terry's. We haven't had a really good... Other than that... Um, so that's, that's the thing, Alexa, if you're still here. That system with the uh, eight water bios. Is it worth boxling that, do you think? Is it worth boxling? Yeah, back to your Masis. You don't think so? You don't think that the XO bio shares you know, similarities in the boxel? Only have only those similarities are only for terraformables, etc. The bios aren't related to the boxel itself. Or is that because you want to come back and get it yourself? <laughs> it might be worth doing a bit of science, you never know, won't it? Let's have a quickie look, just see how big the box it is, if we can. Because if systems share similar characteristics in a boxel, then um, as it goes up into the into the forties. Okay, so it goes up to 46. I'm just curious if it would be worthwhile doing or not, you know. We could give it a good go, couldn't we, you know. Give it a gander. What else have we got to do other than jump, jump, jump? Yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. Um, no, I want to do... To select that one now. Set target. Use that one there. For those who don't know, boxing is a method of exploration. It's all down to how the game generates its sectors. Right, so we've got that there. We need to go into hither and then we'll change that to fast route plotting. Clear that route. We could do can that, and then I can do this. Have I done zero already then? Did I do zero? I've already done zero, maybe. Why did it stop me on zero? I don't know. We're going to go to zero. 
Nobody said to stop me and see her. Do it! Do it, do it, do it! So we've done 18 bios today and we made a whopping 151 million credits. Can we beat 200 million by the end of the day? Ooh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I don't know how many want to leave it before we give up on it or not, but hey, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go! Yes, indeed, uh, that, and, uh, and that's before the first log bonus as well. Yes, indeed, yes, well, well said, Lucky, well said. Yes, about the first log bonus. Mm -hmm. 38 bodies, woohoo! My old Voxel Vector had 250,000 miles on it, Jesus Christ. My dad used to be a salesman, so he used to travel around the country in a lot of Europe, selling semiconductors and stuff. And on his company cars, he would frequently clock them. There's so many miles. Well, that looks pretty. Because he did that much travelling. He never thrashed the cars either, he took care of them. You don't want them to break down when you're out on a you know out on the road somewhere. Yeah. You rack up those miles, didn't you? These bloody asteroid clusters. Fucking pain in the fucking arse they are. Nothing but a waste of space. Oh, did you? Wow. Is it a diesel by any chance? My dad always had petrols, he never had diesels. Metal rich. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before diesels got such a bad name, like for Volkswagen. Was it Volkswagen who falsified the uh, test results and put in the uh, bits in there to make them run lower than they had, you know, to, to basically kibosh the uh, emissions tests? The one in a, you know, lower mode so they didn't put as much pollutants. Yeah, as long as you look after the engines, yes, yeah. Regular service, same as a petrol car, really. As long as you look after the, you know, car, change the fluids. Filters, etc. Um, regular maintenance, timing belts, etc. If you do leave the car stand, you make sure you run it periodically to keep the, the, the lubricant going and top up the water or the um, cooler. The problem with water, water in the cooling system is it, it basically eats the metal. So whilst you might have antifreeze in there, which helps re retard that, the antifreeze breaks down over time, and then you're just left with the water, which eats into the metal and corrodes it and gunks up all the um, the flows. Ideally, you either want to drain it completely or put in waterless coolant if you're going to leave it standing for a while. Kevin, you have a Kevin, and that's a moon as well. See, it's a moon. It's a water world moon. Ooh, a water world moon. Lovely jumpies. I want to get to the fleet carrier to sell the data on, look, six bios, but it's not a um, water world. Atmosphere. I want to get there Friday so Tucker can see me sell the data because he's not going to be around until Friday. So I've got some time to kill between now and Friday. We're not that far. We're only 531 light years away. Uh, and I'll be on tomorrow as well. 
And I'm going to try and do a Thursday evening-ish stream for Life, uh, Life and Land. A little city builder game that I've got a key for. Right, now we do. You take care. Have a good one. Uh, don't work too hard, and we'll catch you when we catch us. But that's it before have an awesome weekend. Exactly, exactly, Alexa. Exactly. Exacto Mundo. How's the old YouTube's doing? Yeah, we've got um, he's got ten people watching the old YouTube, which is cool. So gets those watch hours up. Yeah, I've, I've got I've, I played it the other day, Annie. Um, I've had the key for a few for a week or two. Obviously, the embargo, so I couldn't uh, stream it and whatnot. So I tried it the the intro bit and go through the tutorial. It kind of it said go to the population panel and hire and fire someone. I'm like, okay, so where's the population panel? It took me a good you know twenty minutes of looking before I finally found the smegging thing. Unfortunately, the tutorial doesn't highlight what you should be looking at, which a lot of tutorials do. So uh, yeah, I need to have a, another go at it, which I'll do on stream. As I was say, try to do it tomorrow evening, you know, after five or something for a couple of hours. See how we can get on with it. Okay, so we've got a Kevin to do. And we have two moons. One is worth anything between 17 and 48. One is worth between 19 and 25. Okay. I've also got uh, Underspace to do a stream of, but I can't do that until the embargo is cleared. Uh, so we need to do A4A and then A5C and A5F. I tried Norland the other day, but because of the way I do OBS with virtual audio cables, when I try to output the game audio through the virtual audio cable, even like it, it does it, it doesn't redirect the audio, which is really, really, really annoying. Oh, now my parcel's changed between five and seven. Okay. So I put a thingy into the Discord. Um, that was this morning and nothing yet. And if, I don't, if they don't respond to it, then they don't respond to it. It just means I can't stream it. I think there's only two games I've ever found that you can't do that with. It doesn't work. I can't remember what the other one was. I even tried using the OBS beta on the game capture to capture the audio. Wouldn't have it. And if I use desktop capture, then anything goes everything goes through it. Whereas at the moment, the game audio is on one channel, Winamp's on another channel, voice acts on a separate channel. So everything's split and I can control the audio on each one individually. It gives me much more flexibility. But hey, oh, it's what it is. Do 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 Some games like Factory, you can actually you have to change it in the game, but pretty much everything else, I've always been able to change it on the advanced audio properties in Windows and redirect it. Hey ho, it is what it is. It is what it is. Ba 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 ba. What's the time? Twenty-five to two. Okay, we've got loads of time left. Well, I say loads of time. We've got we've got time left. So.
What's that about on the old hell divers? Oh, with an issue update for your players that include balancing updates, fixes and improves to general stability. Okay. Oh, well then of course we've got our old Planet Crafter coming out next week into um, 1.0, into release. So we'll be doing that next week with old Slimmy Poos. One, two, three. <laughs> right, I said 5C and 5F, didn't I? That's what I said. Yeah, 5C and 5F. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. I've seen people playing it, and, you know. It looks, you know, it's fun and people obviously enjoying it, so, you know. It's what it is, isn't it? Different strokes for different folks, horses for courses, and all that, my larks. <sighs> Very nice. Seems popular enough, doesn't it? But like most of these things, it'll pass. It'll be the next thing and the next thing and so on and so forth. Ooh, Clypus uh, Speculum. Look at Speculumi. Ooh, that's worth uh, 16 million credits if that's on there. Ooh, hope it is. Osseus uh, Palabantus. So there's six on then. There's one, two, three, catch or six. Okay, so there's more than six. Mate Slim quite likes it, but he gets frustrated because it gets hard at the high levels. And um, he gets frustrated because he's, you know, he struggles at those levels. But then that's games for you, unfortunately. They do get complicated and difficult over time. You have to have a challenge. Ah. Oh, we've got 11 on YouTube now. Yay! Woohoo! Hello, YouTube viewers. How are you over there? Are you well? Are you good? I know most of you are on there are watching me on Twitch as well, which I do appreciate. But if there's anybody who isn't, hi. Right. I appreciate you. Never got into, I saw Power World and went, meh. You know? Power World's, you know, a, you know, big popular thing, isn't it? Hello! Indeed. Oh. Look, there's a be lucky twice. We have two be luckies. One here, one there. Bow, 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 bow. Must be very, very lucky, yes, indeed, yes. Double luckies. Yeah, I saw something about that yesterday. Also, ESA, the uh, space agency, did a, a April Fool where they said, uh, we, after you know some investigation, etc., etc., we've discovered that the world is actually egg shaped. There were quite a lot of April Fools yesterday, weren't there? There was the one from the US Navy. Well, it, said US Navy, but they said they, um, the next nuclear submarine would come with the magneto hydro dryers, a la, you know, Red October. Or was that a cover story? Ha ha ha, false disinformation, which means they are going to do it. Ha <laughs> ha, Tin Foil Hat Theory. No. Not Tin Man Theory, but Tin Foil Hat Theory. You can live with egg shakes. Hey, small good day, dude. Yeah, yeah, I heard that one as well. Aye, aye. That reminds me, I, I think Ronnie O'Sullivan f dropped out of the old World Snooker Championship rather early, if I remember rightly. Yeah. But he was going to, if he could have done, he would have um, got a triple crown. Or did he win? Did he win? Did he win it? Just looking at it online. Um, the final was Trump versus O'Sullivan and he, he won 10-7. Does that mean he got the Triple Crown? Oh my God. I, I missed that as well. Bollocks. 
Hang on, when was this? Hang on, no, this was um, January. Wrong one. That was in January. Okay. That was in January. Did he get the Crippled Crown then? Because he did, um, yeah, two out of the three. And it'll be about like, the third or fourth person to do it. Oh, Google quickly, hang on. Bonnie O'Sullivan. Uh, triple Crown. I'm a big fan of the old Ronnie O'Sullivan, the old Rocket. It's one of the only snooker players that are actually worth watching these days. Ronnie O'Sullivan crashes his own game ahead of the uh, world blah blah blah. World Champion Masters title. Ronnie O'Sullivan came from behind to claim a record extending 8th Masters title with a brilliant 10 7 victory over Ali Carter on Sunday at LA Pally, which I saw that one. Um, right, so, what have we got on there then? Let's have a look at that one quickly. Yeah, I watched that one. That was good, that was. It was on white form, it was. Okay, so this is 19 to 21. Depends on the concha. Bundy. Hey Jorgen, good day dude, hello and how are you? Uh, does anyone know how that pronounces it? Tuesday or Thursday? It's Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Right, let's go get the easy peasy ones in to begin with. We'll do the other ones afterwards. I might have to do them. Oh look, we've got a non-human signature there, which is the third grade sensor probe. Got a couple actually. That Ooh, was wow. really nice of you. Is it three weeks? Okay, cool. Cheers, dude. Thank yous. That was the masters. Um. Oh, charity thing, we've got the slips for it as well. <laughs> yeah, he's fine, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he's won the world title in 2001, 2004, 08, 12, 13, 20, and 22. I hate it when they auto play fucking videos. My grandma used to say it, and we find myself out at it sometimes. Okay. Oh, don't, 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 oh, seven, dude, oh, sevens. Don't worry about that. It was an important question he did not answer him. I should have to remember to watch it. Don't adopt it, embrace it. Yeah. The 12 man championship in Manchester next week. Um, it's the penultimate event of the season before the 48th World Championship gets underway in Sheffield on April the 20th to May the 6th. Only three of the final seedings are known ahead of the Crucible with the offending champion Luca Brassell, the top seed. Mark Selby seeded fifth and Robert Milkins the 16th seed. What could be a final crisis, a, um, which could prove to be a crucial final top 16 list. Okay. O'Sullivan's second seed in the World Championship may prove to be more trouble than it's worth in his quest to create super history at the Crucible next month. The world number one is set to go into the 48th staging of the sport's biggest event in Sheffield in the bottom half of the draw unless results dictate otherwise at the Tourist Championship in Manchester, April the 1st to 7th, the penultimate ranking events of the campaign. Oh well. I hope he wins it this year, I really fucking do. He's the only one with any personality if you watch some of the, you know, the modern snooker players. He's 48 and he's still, you know, mm, like, he's just so good. He's just so good. He's just when he's in the moment, he's unstoppable. Unfortunately, sometimes he has a bit of a um, a brain fart, and yeah, doesn't do so well. But if, if, even so, he's still the world's number one, and he is the greatest of all time.
Okay, so that's 20th of April. Hash, you have to keep an, uh, an eye out for that. Is that the OK? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's one more championships and stuff and whatnot. He's, you know, he, got, he holds records for this, that and the other. He still holds the record for the fastest ever one four seven break, and that was in 1997. He did that. I think it was just like 5 minutes 28 or something stupid. It's like pot, pot. Pot. I think his average pot time is like six or seven seconds, and the ref was keeping up with him, which is awesome. He's both the youngest, oldest UK world uh, UK snooker champion. Was he? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But, you know, watching the snooker, you know, nowadays, bear in mind I grew up with it in the golden age, you know, with all the, the greats, Higgins, Taylor, um, Davis, Reardon, Thornburg, you know, all those lots. Nowadays, they just don't have any personality on the tables. There's no flair, there's no panache, there's no, you know, life in them half the time. The only one is, it's bloody Ronnie. Oh, got some ads coming in a minute. I can go and nip to the loo quick because I need, I need a wee. Yeah, I bet they did. Yeah, yeah. I'll put the old wordies on stream up in a second and you can have that one. I can nip to the loo and stuff. It's not so much pomp and circumstance because they now have entrance music, don't they? If you ever watched them. They, get the, they never used to have that. They used to come out. Part of the bums, you know, the the, you know, the the MC would give them all their, you know, blah 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 blah, you know, etc. And they'll come out. Now they get entrance music. For crying out loud, you know, it's not WWE or anything, you know. For crying out loud. Right, have they changed? Okay, it's still between five and seven today. Okay. Oh, there's the old uh, Dirky Boy. He's a legend, that bloke. He's a legend. Right here, boxing. And anyway, he comes out to the ring and pop, he gets his head knocked off. Yeah, but boxing's not snooker, is it? I mean, although it kind of was a little bit in the old days with old um, Hurricane Higgins. Uh, but that was against the old um, referees, wasn't it? Not the the um, organisers, wasn't it? No. Uh, um, what have we got around here? A box and a snooker are two different things, aren't they, at the end of the day? And, you know, I watch these snooker players and they're just like... Meh. We've got Tussicky Wussicky there. Anyway, to that and over there. Some more tussocks over there. Let's find off a part. Got back to him over there. We've got, okay, so we've got plenty of tussocks. So we can do the tussock and the alioida. We can do the others. I've won many bets for folks who've done the pop and circumstance thing. Yeah, I know, I know. I can imagine, dude. I can imagine. Right, so let's get out of the buggy. Actually, no. Uh, should I wait till I get back? Yeah, wait till I get back, actually. Not that I should have any issues, but I'd rather be in the ship than not. Back of all, right. Um, I'll put the old wordies on stream up. You can have a play on that for a minute while I go out to the kitchen and get to the loo and whatnot. Turn on the old music Rooney. Look at Ferris there, top of the list there, it's top of the list there, and Alex is doing well on that one. Right, you have a play with that, I'll be back in a fuse, but whatever you do, don't go away.
back. Go back. What did that? Uh, uh, what was it they said on there? Uh, that said that. Let's go back. Uh, it's like the ref lifts up the base mat at the end of the table and goes, "Here's Steve." Then one is around, aimless at the end, performs the same task and pops it out. Dave. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, look, options there. Beating ferrets. Emma, level one. Uh, number one, level eight. Nice one, Emma. Nice one. Oh, Emma's gone to bed. Emma's up late or is she up early? I don't know. Right, we we'll continue. Continues. Two. One. We still need to be le beat level 21, peeps. Oh, I've got, I know what that is, unless I can spend it quickly. No, I can't spell it right. Yep. Nope, not those letters. Damn it, Janet. I was close, but no cigar. It's nice to have you here, Emma. Nice to have you here this late. Ooh. Ba 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 ba. There is a fake letter, by the way. So something else beginning with B or A. Why did tell not work? Bow 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 bow. No D. There's no D. Yeah, you got no D. That's why. Yeah, no D. No D D D. You haven't got a D. You're not going to get it at the moment. At this rate, guys and girls. So is it four letter word beginning with either A or B? And if it begins with B, it's got to be B A something something. No D, you can't have anything like that. And they buy a nice one, Blue. But you still need seven more points to, to get the level. And oh, when you get it at the last minute. Sinking last hits. And, and, no! You, you failed, peeps, you failed. Why did the um, thing with you could deploy again? It shouldn't have done. Well, damn it, Janet. Right, anyway, back to the game. You tried, but you failed. Right, what was I doing anyway? Um, Eluada, we'll do that first. Boobies, yes, boobies. Stop! I'm about to do all of them, fuck it, while we're here, not that far apart. Oh, we've got Tati Kawasix. A Oida Coronimus is worth 6,284,600 credits. Let's see if we can do this quickly. Vroom, vroom. Eh. And we've got uh, the, the Japanese Grand Prix this weekend, ladies and gents. If you're into the old vroom vrooms. I should be up watching that early on Sunday mornings. With a cup of tea, we bake the sausage sarni. You have left the first sample range. I'm sure there's some super bikes this weekend as well. Is it Moto GP or is it super, super bikes? Some look skis. I know the touring cars doesn't start until a little bit longer. Uh, oh, and, I, um, and the Liberty Media Group, who owned Formula One, have now bought the rights to Moto GP. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I just don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Have they updated the calendar yet on the... Uh, no, they still haven't updated the calendar. Come on, ITV. Update the calendar. Ow. Bow, 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 bow. Ba 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 da ba. 
I just checked my pass to make sure it's not coming any earlier. We we'll listen early to the F1. Don't watch the next highlights on YouTube. Um, what about on Channel Four, dude? What about the ch highlights on Channel Four? Do you not watch those instead? And we've got the British Superbike, which is six. Okay, so this weekend it's the official test at Donington, and it's the end of you April. Have left the second That's the um, first race in the British Superbikes in the uh, Circuit of Navarra. So I don't know if the they'll show the testing on uh, Eurosport for the old uh, BSB. Hopefully they will do. And then the World Superbike. Oh, is it down the road for you? Oh, nice one, dude. Nice one. What? The Japanese Grand Prix? Oh, okay. And the third round of the World Superbikes is the end of April. Like, second or third weekend of April. So, oh, Donaldson, oh, cool. I went there years ago to see Monsters of Rock. I did. First and only time at Monsters of Rock. The actual concert was amazing, but the actual everything else was, yeah, no, no. Oh, you do not? Oh, that's a shame, dude. Bugger. Bugger, 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 bugger. But it might be on on demand, maybe. It should be on on demand. Tusk yeah. Propagito is be. worth one million credits. You can watch it online. Do you not get a free view or anything either? Or do you not have a TV license? Because you don't watch anything live as it was. Nice choice, Dr. Sensex. I'll find this way better. Hey, if that works for you, dude, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. I'm just curious, that was all. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm going to order that beast pack. Because it's got... Um, how many hours on it's left on it? 16 days, so I suppose. Yeah, I you have left the yes. first sample range. Oh, okay, fair enough. Because I quite like the Channel 4 uh, coverage that they do. They've got some... Uh, they have the good old commentators on it, they do. Right, where's me... Um, Asiki Wasix. There's a patch there, but that will be too close to the ship. No more out here somewhere? Oh, I see some over there. Aha, I see some. I see some. Right turn, Clyde. When's the Moto GP on? Moto GP calendar. Okay, so that's next weekend, the old Moto GP. Paco Benaya. He hasn't had a good start to the season. Why well, Martin's um you know doing rather well. Although the race is exceptionally good though. It really is. I do like I'm getting into the Moto GP now. Wasn't didn't get into it much before, but now I'm starting to it's starting to grow on me. So Right, so we go back to the ship and get the last one. Do 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 de 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 de. You are outside the second sample range. Ba, ba, ba. So yes, we can get that, then we can get the stratum, and then we can go and get the uh, bacterium. Uh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> 
Where's the um the midget here around here? I scattered in there, cool. That's handy, are we? Wish we could dismiss and recall the SRV whilst we're on foot. That'd be really handy. Over there, get the last of the get the uh, first of the old stratum. This is why we need to be able to take more than one sample at the time front here. Stratum Lamexus is worth one million three hundred and sixty two thousand credits. So much. Listen to the noises. Some of the bollocks would make noises. Which they had before. Bow, 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 bow. It's just only two o'clock. We've got at least another hour in me. I think maybe a little bit longer. We'll see how he goes. Hey, Clyde, good day, dude. How be you? Well, was he good? Nice to see you. See you nice. All right, Neymar. Thanks for hanging out. You have a good and have a good night's sleep, and we'll catch you when we catch us. Much appreciated for you hanging out and whatnot. You have left the um, first sample range. Same as most weekends. Streaming, house cleaning, housework and cooking. How was yours? Hey, John Peterson. Good day, dude. How are you? Well, you good? Nice to see you. See you nice. That was a nice present. It wasn't bad, was it? A can of Coke. Not as good as the bacon sarny, but hey. Yeah, well, good to hear. Good to hear. There's a There's a new game coming out called Jump Ship, a new co-op FPS with strategy elements for FTL. If Starfield left you cold, this could be the one you are. Oh, yeah, it's a bar of chocolate. Is a bar of chocolate of your choice. You had a good weekend, went fishing with my dad and caught and released over 50 fish. Oh, wow. What about the, you know, the one that got away? Yeah, Did you have one of those? Oh, I should have seen it. You know, it's massive, but you know, it got away. Got off the hook. You are outside the second sample range. That's handy, have it? Because we can park ourselves right there between the bacterium and the stratum. It was this big. It was massive. <sighs> right, we can get the stratum, one across the other side and get the bacterium. Yeah, indeed, indeed. For sure, for sure. We've got to go up and come back down again to get the other ones. Do, 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 Them fish be smart, they just spaz out if you hook them and they spit it right out. Yeah. They ain't daft, are they? Yeah. They ain't daft. The old fisher boonies. See, for me, I've, I've never seen... Morrisus is worth one million credits. The interest in fishing. You know, I get why people do it, you know, because it's, you know, you're out and about, you can sit there, you can have a chill, you know, it's more about being there than actual fishing, necessarily. But the whole catch release thing, if I'm, you know, if I'm going to catch a fish, I'd want to take it home and eat it. You know? 
But I get it. I do get it. I mean, you know. It's just being out there, isn't it? Getting away from it all and all that malarkey. And even if you don't catch anything, it's the experience of being fishing. You know, if, you, if you're on your own, you can just sit there, cold beer maybe, in the cooler or whatever. Non-alcoholic, of course, if, you, if you're driving. You are yes. outside the yes. first sample range. There are some places where you can catch any, though, isn't there? I'm sure there must be. But most places is catch and release, isn't it? But you can, there'll be certain fishes, I'm sure. But then again, I've never been an outdoorsy sort of person. So. I want to go and sit in the sun. I'll go and sit in the, you know, in the, in the lounge or in the garden. So I'd have to go to a reservoir, you know, get all your stuff out and put up your rod and get your worms and get your, you know, your flies and everything else. And yeah, no, not that I forget my soldiers. I mean, my brother used to fish. You know, I went there a couple of times. It's like... Yeah, no, this, is, this is not me. Not me. Not me. I'd rather sit there and read a book in the, in the garden in the sun than go fishing. But hey, different strokes for different folks. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ugh, that came out of nowhere. Yeah, I get exactly. Yeah, if you're doing, yeah, you like the fish and stuff. You get shouted to your dad and that as well, you know. Bit of old family bonding. Must be some bacteria in my head. Oh dear. That cough come out of nowhere. Hmm. I say, you know, whether you caught anything or not, it didn't matter, did it? It was the act of fishing. Almost like a meditation type thing. You are outside the second sample range. I know some people do it because of competition, don't they? You know, the weight of fish you can catch in like a two hour period or something. One of the blokes used to work in the butchers used to go do that. <clears throat> well, that made me do my eyes water, that did that cough. Ooh. Go back up and come back down again. <clears throat> I think we could break 200 million today. What do we really do? And talk, go back to the old YouTubes. If anything's the last few days have been anything to go by. I should be over 1,200 watch hours tomorrow. Which is awesome. We're getting there slowly but surely. Yay! Right, so we got Concha, Fungoida. Oh, I didn't do Osseus. Damn it, we'll go down and do Osseus. Fuck it. Got Osseus. Poo poo, buy me goo, plus but dibble grub. <clears throat> now look at the old TV guy to see if I can see if the um, motorsports, the uh, British Superbike testing is on. 
the light on the US port. Doesn't look like it. If it is, it might not be until later, maybe. Might show highlights of it. I bet it'll be on um, Discovery Plus, though. Which is a ball lake. If it's not in the Tessis, that's not too bad. Not the end of the world. Oh, let's go. For the love of God, they can just stop the whole in Gaza. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we're not all that. We're not all bad. So. You would be here lucky if, other, if, if that happened. Yeah, your rare sunshine. There's. Might need to find the Hossios. Reset night vision. Ba 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 da ba 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 Right, come on, Hossios. Let me find you nice and quick. We can skedaddle and move on. Need it on the rocky ground, that's where it normally uh, resides. Those little patches of uh, rock rather than the sandy soil. There's so much alloyed and strap around it, it gets uh, a bit confusing sometimes. I think, oh, I found an osseous, even though it's not, it's a stratum or something. Oh, is that something there, maybe? What's that? That's Alueda. Yeah, it's Alueda. Dag, damn it, Janet. <clears throat> Wasn't as big as it um, needs to be. The access to the bishop. After that, you've got the wind whistling all year round. Just oh, enhance the game. I know there's atmosphere on the planet, so you would, you know, hear the wind whistling. The ship's just recreating it in the cockpit for you, give you that sense of uh, movement. Gives the brain that stimuli it needs, otherwise, it go. He's gonna be a pain in the ass. Look at that fluffy unicorn. He's so oh, lucky. Fluffy. I'm gonna die. You have to do that. Five gifted subs, you legend. Who did you gift them to? Who did you gift them to? You, you, you. you, you it's just lovelies. Uh, Deja Vince, nope. Flay Doe, nope. Germanicus, know them. Sand Dog, know them. And Regan, I know them. Okay, so three out of those I know. The other two, no idea who they are, but yeah, you got lucky. Thank you, lucky, you legend. Thank you so much, dude. You beautiful person, yes. Well, hopefully, hopefully. I mean, I know three of them are. Um, the other two, never seen their names before. They may not even even be in chat because it's the way Twitch works is weird. Uh, if you are in chat, say thank you to be lucky because that's very, very kind of them. Yeah, if I look at two of them, hang on. Um, Danger Vince. Danger Vince is Danger Vince in here? No. Danger Vince is not in here. 
and neither is Flayne Doe, I don't think. Nope, neither of them in the chat. I'll get some work done and catch you later. No worries, my dear, you take care and I'll catch you tomorrow, maybe. Yes, I will do, I will do. I shall try and remember to do it tonight. Um, I don't promise. But you take care, catch you later. Big hugs. Yes, I don't know who two of those, they're not in the chat and Twitch is it's annoying that. The way it should work is that people who are active in the or you know in the chat at that time should get the follow the subs if they're not already subbed, and then it should go to people who who are followed but aren't in the chat, and then it should go wherever after that. So, at least two people are actually gone. Who the fuck's this fiery toad do? I've never heard of him. Because I've had that before. Hey, downslide, good day, dude. Nice to see you, dude. Hope you're well. Hope you're good. I've got it logged on, and it says yeah, you got um yeah a message, and it's like so and so's gifted you a sub to so and so's channel. And it's for a game on a person that I've never heard of, or the game that I'd never go and visit. Yeah, it's stupid. Tucker did explain it the, the other a little while back, but I've forgotten exactly how they do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is um, you shouldn't have to, dude. It's your prioritised by people actually in the chat, uh, people who follow, and then if they be random individuals. I mean, it may get them to possibly come and see the channel. You never know, so. Um, but most people just go, oh, whatever. Wouldn't they? I mean, if you got a random sub to a random channel, out of the go blue. Ahead, oh, lucky. My day. Dude, you didn't have to do that. You absolute darling, you. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you very, very much. It's like a viewers in chat who are sub receive it, then extended followers. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. If you're in chat, you get priority. And if you're not in chat, but you'll follow, you get secondary. And then it goes from there downwards. Right. Hey, Baron. Good day, dude. How are you? Nice to see you. See you nice. But, you know, if you got a random sub to a random channel for a game that you've not heard of or not interested in, would you go and check out the channel to see what it was like? Or would you just ignore it? That was a nice present. Oh, you got a crunchy. You lucky bastard. Good watch, no, I put, yeah, yeah. So some maybe would, some maybe wouldn't. <laughs> Wolf. Fair play, dude, fair play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depends how bored you are, yeah. Osseus Fractus is worth 4,027,800 credits. Well, at least you're being honest, Wolf. Yeah, well, normally it pops up on the, um, when you go into Twitch, you know, you've got the top above the chat, you've got like the crown, the envelope and the little speech bubble with the whispers. It will show up on notifications and if you click on it, it tells you that, you know, so-and-so's gifted you a sub, blah, blah, blah. So, but while we do this, um, do I need the loo? I don't think I need the loo. I don't think I need it. A bit of the old wordy old stream, shall we? A level or two. But I like this one, I totally know. <laughs> oh, bless you. You know, all, all those awesome uh, emotes you can use. So. Ah, damn it, I'll change you. Pick me to the post. I'm trying to see if there's a follow to where we begin with A. Um, a bait. Yeah, good one, good one. Yeah, yeah. There's a follow to where we begin with A, B. Bait. 
Okay, got it. Well done, Downs. Well done. So there's a four letter word beginning with either B or D. It can only begin with B or D. That's all it can begin with. And also, Down, you don't get to see any ads now. You can carry on playing words in words on string. Thanks for being lucky. Beat. Don't know. Beat. We've already had beat. Bead. What was it? What was it? Is it bead? It was beta. Well done. Well done. Bow, 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 bow. What? That was options done up there. No, at the top would be like in second and down in third to me in a lonely seventh. We might get one, maybe. We'll get one more level in, I think. So, um, what's this? Um, uh, easy people on gear. It's standing quite in the face, wasn't it? Everyone jumps on gear. Uh, I get real. Yeah, I've got real. Glare range. We need 69 beeps. We need to hit 69 dudes. Potentially a four letter word beginning with E. Reveal. Yeah, don't, don't forget to try the veal. And if I tip the waitress. Earl, nice one. You got Earl. Real. Glare. There's at least one more. We could be a four letter word beginning with A. Maybe. There's definitely one beginning with E or G. Gale, nice one. Let's see if either A or E it begins with on the very first one. R or V or V. When we smash the level, so yeah. You know. Yeah, well, back. Woohoo! Welcome back, everybody. Vale. Regal. Ba 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 So the five letter word can only begin with R. R E something. But not bad, not bad. Mute it quickly. Who got the highest? Who's on top of the leaderboard? That'll be down slide on both of them on the level and over. Well, well done, down. Well done, dude. Options is second, be lucky in third. Ooh. Doing well, Hips, you're doing well. Right, back to the game. Back to the game. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yes. Um, Osseus. More Osseus. I found one, so I should be able to find the other two, hopefully, relatively click quickly. Yes. Uh, it is Jump Eaton. It is a Twitch partner decal. I am a now you an are official Twitch the partner. First sample range. I got it a few weeks back. Need to try and get Hatchy one next. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. If I can get it, Hatchy be able to get it. He really should. The amount of effort he puts into his streams. I still, I still look at it. And go. I can't believe I got it. It just, it, 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 part of me just thinks, how the fuck did I get that? <laughs> A lot of it is down to you guys and girls, you know, coming along every all the time and supporting me and helping me and, you know, being here, keeping me company and chatting and all that. If that viewers, like you, um, I wouldn't have had it. That simple. Can a gnome torture a qualifier? Well, maybe, maybe. Now, streaming without viewers is just somebody talking to the screen, isn't it? Yeah, we should try and get Hatchy his next. 
keep his viewer accounts up and whatnot. And he, the thing is, a lot of it is, um, if you're lucky, they are talking to the screen. They're all small. The, lot of, the thing with a lot of it is, is the chat engagement, you know, that chat activity. If chat see lots of chat pe people chatting, that shows you know to them that they've got an active you know community, as it were. Whereas if you, like a lot of times people, quite often will come into my stream and look, because I'm background noise, which is great. Don't get me wrong, I love it. It's awesome. Um, also nice to have people to talk to as well, you know. But again, yeah, people are working or they're just you know what's they kind of in the background, you know. And you know they like that person's voice. I get it. I understand it all. I don't need to stream to spend all day talking, liking myself. Well, no, exactly, Wolf. Exactly, yes. We can all do that, can't we? But Twitch want activity. They want engagement. They want you know back and forth. There's certain things they're looking for. But whilst you might get the hit the three metrics to apply for partnership, there's more they look at in the back end. You know how you comport yourself, etc. You know. Exactly, see, exactly, exactly, you know, which is not appreciated, Devin, you know, a view is a view. Whether you're active or you're just lurking, you're still a viewer and you're appreciated, all of you. But, you know, when you want to get that partnership, it's, you need that engagement in the chat, you need the chat to, you know, to fly up the screen. That's where Words on Stream has helped massively. There's one. And I swear that's a good a good portion of why I got the apartment because like they could see the chat was active, showed up on their metrics. Oh look, they've got an active chat. People are chatting all the time. We get it though. You could have more drafts not just like hatch. <laughs> True. Well, you know, <clears throat> but you know, that's Hatchy's thing. You say, yeah, well, you know, but at least, left, at least they left me a lurk, you know, so I'll take what I can get, you know, quite happily take what I can get. They came back though, Wolf, they came back, so it can't be that uninteresting. Cheeky sods, a lot of yous. Um, doesn't ring any bells jump, I can look in the codex maybe, possibly see if there's anything in there that I might have picked up. But to be honest, Jump, I'm not into the law very much. I'm not a big law person. So. <laughs> um. That's something in there, is there? Um. Galleries, maybe. No, I don't know where it'll be then. Archive. That's the only things I've got in the codex there. Uh, no, that would be the answer to that one. Reset night vision. My cinematic streams, though, I think it's a bit like. Yeah, it can be with these old. Um, Thing with Jiggy. Chaos Hour. Billy to Tina that I watch it sometimes. Okay. I'm not. Look, I'm nothing to do with the dark wheel. Ignore them. You are jump. outside the second sample range. <clears throat> That's just hearsay, rumor, and um, yes, falsehood. So I'm nothing to do with the dark wheel. Absolutely nothing at all. Just be lucky, stirring the pot again, isn't it? I know what he does. I know what he does. You see, the thing is, it, it, B Lucky says that to throw everybody off the set that he's actually the head of the Dark Wheel organization. See? I know what you're doing there, dude. You know? Passing aspersions on other people to distract them from your real activities. Is that one over there? Was that a rock? There's one. Found it. Found the last one. Woohoo! <laughs> well, we all know that Raxler is a myth perpetrated by Universal Cartographic to keep players and commanders out exploring the galaxy and bringing back all that juicy exploration data. See? That's all it is. That is all it is.
but the pass is still is still between oh it's now between half four and half six so it's changing you know periodically i guess obviously traffic and whatnot if you raise it as a tool to one side and script and get back to that do you also have to drink about four or five you know pints as well to this in Burke. Ba, 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 ba. Did we get the um? Yeah, we did. We did. We did. We did. We did. But, but so now I need to go up and come back down again to get the other ones. There's another two I think I've got to do. So yeah, two concha and fungoida. So that'd be fun. Still, it's all money in the bank. Well, it will be eventually when I get and turn it in and sell it. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, what's that you found, Jump? Dark Wheel, five out of six. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why you're asking then. Oh, okie dokies. Maxwell's a particular species, weren't they in law? Well, no, Raxler is, is, is the mythical homeworld of the Thargoids. That's what Raxler is, allegedly, to some people. Although, if you read the Codex entry in the game, um, it doesn't really tell much about it. If you go to the old codex, knowledge base, and you've got Raxler there, that's it. A myth, you know, like Atlantis, El Dorado, etc. Kingdom of Prester John. Several versions of the story, an alien artifact, a rift in space. Gateway to a parallel universe, etc. Yeah, there's no consensus to what it actually is. People have just jumped onto it being the home world of the Thargoids. Uh, no idea, no idea, doubt it very much because the only people who know where are if it is anywhere is our frontier, and they ain't talking. Nice. Bow, 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 bow. Got the music in my head now, so. Do, 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 do. I mean, they have apparently allegedly hinted that it's in the game, but we don't know what it is. If you read that knowledge base, it could be anything. Uh, need to dash. No, he's dude. You take care, mateys. Um, and thank you again, mate. You absolute generous bastard. Take care, and we'll catch you tomorrow, hopefully, mateys. Oh, seven big hugs. The wonderful, lovely, be lucky peoples. He's such a legend. I just have to give me his own little um, intro thing, my jiggy. The only reason I'm on today is because I, I had a bit of spare time and B Hatch was on. If Hatch was on, I most probably wouldn't have been on. Um, I would have sat and watched him and potted around and done some things. Find the ground. Well, you'll have a bit of trouble doing that jump because um, I'm in um, solo. Oh shit, there's a, there's a wall there. Right, can I find the concha and the fun goid around here anywhere? That's the question, police. I 
Okay, found the um, the concha. That was easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, God, I feel like I need a cough. in the back of the old throat. Ba, ba, ba. Is the music playing or is it just very quiet? Why is that gone quiet? Okay. Maybe it's just my headphones are quiet, maybe. Oh, there's some culture there. Bow, wow, bow, wow, bow. Have you um, tried Googling that jump about the old um, Dark Real Theme Jiggy messages? Have a look on the Wikipedia, maybe. Canchery in Ibus is worth 4,572,400 credits. Yeah, I can hear the music now. It's quite quiet this bit. Yeah, now you can hear it. Yeah, it's a fire. Okay, interesting. But I can't imagine it'll be an April Fool's thing, Michigi. I would have done something you know, more public than that. So. You are outside the first sample range. Have a quickie Google. Um, not Dav's Hope, Dark Hope. There's a Reddit thing about it, possibly. That's just Dave's hope. That's not Dave's hope. Dark Star. I don't know, dude. Don't know. Maybe you found something that yeah has been um, recently looked into too much. Maybe you wanted something, mate. You never know. Okay, some culture over there. Du, 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 du. Oh, no, another fruity pastel. We down to thread a mill, dude. Do some bios. We're gonna get some extra away. Cool, cool. So I'll just read these Discord. Northwest quadrant, um, Hornemus Delta region. Uh, well, if I could, I would. The galaxy far, far away. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Nothing happened. Not a thing. Everyone was happy and peaceful. Whereabouts is it, dude? 
if you if you, you want to say. The second sample range. If you don't want to say, I understand it completely. If you want to keep it um, yourself. Oh really? Oh, they drained it. Okay. Oh, ooh, interesting, dude. Interesting. Oh, I see some fungoid over there. I was just curious if I'd been there or not in any way, shape, or I don't think I have, but. You found it out, out 17k from the bubble. Hang on. What you're saying is. You found it. Sort of over here, sort of area. Around sort of there. Bless you. Far away from it now. Look, see, I've been there. It's only about three thousand light years away from it where you are. Oh, I found um, non-human signal sources at Erdu. I found two earlier. They were Thargoids. So I have been out in that region. Uh, I know what. Uh, Well, fingers crossed you find something interesting, mate. See, for it to be an April Fool's joke, it would have to be something that lots of people would see. Wouldn't it? In my book. If it was April's Fool, why would it be... Oh, there's one there. Okay, cool. Um, It just seems a little bit... I don't know. Hidden. Good luck with good hunting. Never know, you might be onto something. Now, was it like a beacon out there or something you found? You know, like, um, like a tourist beacon type thing, Michigi? Or did the message pop up once you went into the system? Now yeah, we'll try it over there, fuck it. Yes, but very cool. Well, when you get, if you remember when you get home, check in your uh, archive and see if it shows up in there. Is that curiosity? If most things should start showing your archive and it bugs, which is entirely possible. Um. I've been doing it a long while, Pepper, for one thing. Um, so I overly, I mean, I've been doing it for a couple of years. Uh, if I go into Thingamajiggy, hang on a minute. When I've turned in. There you go. So I've, I've registered 6,578 uh, biologicals and I've on this trip alone I've collected 6096 okay so I've got experience and I just develop little trips tips and tricks on how to do it so I'll like, happily share them quite happily share them There's, one of them is night vision another one is knowing the sort of locations that the different bios will spawn in like for example um, this one here, this particular fungoida, prefers sandier soil. Whereas the other two types, well, there's actually, let me show you this. Um, okay. 
There are three types of fun goida. That one can be on either rocky or sandy. That one's on sandy, and that one's on oh, sorry, that one's on rocky terrain more than likely, and that one's on sandy terrain. Yeah. Oh, we've got an earthquake coming up in a sec. So it's, it's a lot of it's experience, dude. But when I when the earth finish, I'll I'll go through and I'll show you how I do it on the next planet if you want. Then you've got to ask questions. You can do. Using the external camera, flying low and slow, several different tricks. Um, I'm 53,982 light years from the bubble. From Seoul, at least, so. Well, how far is it outside the bubble? Um, a couple of thousand light years, give or take. When you start, when you stop seeing you signal sources in the pirates, you're outside the bubble. Yeah, that's the easiest way to know. Ah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You can't get stuck out there, really. Yeah. There's the fast way home by self-destructing. Um, if you run out of fuel, you can call the fuel rats. There's a number of fleet carriers around where you can dock at and repair, refuel, and rearm. Uh, I'm going to nip to the loo in a second. I'm going to to kick in. As long as you've got a fuel scoop, you're laughing. You can't run out of fuel. I haven't got a carrier. But there's a number of... I'll show you when we get back as well. The, the DSSA network. They've got a carrier nearly every region of the galaxy. You don't need a carrier. You really don't. Exactly, a whole lot of nice people do. Let's wait for that. I shall um, bring up ED Astro quick. And I'll show you. I'll put it after the break. We've got a bit more time then, rather than trying to rush things. Yes, there are nice people going, hey, off by one, hello, mate, how are you? Nice to see you. Are you good, are you Vels? Let's pop on to the old word is on stream. Good. Right, um, I'm going to nip to the loo quick. Do you have a play of this while I'm AFK? If you're still on the YouTubes and you're not on the Twitch, pop over twitch.tv forward slash fiery toad and uh, leave a look on the YouTubes. I will be back in a minute or two. Have fun with the old word is on stream and I'll, um, yeah. I don't know where I was going to go with that, but anyway, catch you in a sec.
Oh, I'm back. I have to wait for the ads to finish before everyone's back. Dinge. Oh, okay. Supercalifragilistic. Oh, hang on. I wonder if that's in it. Um, I can spell it. Nope, it's not in there. I thought we might have giraffe in there, but it's obviously a fake letter. Do, do, do. Foil, fail. There's obviously a fake letter in there. I think it could be the G, possibly. Yeah, the G's a fake. G's fake. There's no G. Oh, but there you go. You're not going to do it, guys and girls. You're not going to do it. We're going to fail! We're going to fail! No G, you can't have logic, Baron. There's no G. Over, man, game over. <laughs> ah, failure, failed, we failed. Ah, poop, yes, poop, poop, poo. Right, we might get one more, two more before we finish today. We'll see how it goes. Right, let's go, um, Pepper, because we oh, everyone should be back now. Uh, let's show you Pepper something. It's gonna pop it up, cool. All right, so this is edastro.com, so Pepper. This is one of their interactive maps, and this is all the DSSA carriers. So if I click it there, it tells me the name of the carrier and the services it has available, and the system it's in, as well as the region. If I do this, can I get to show regions as well? Yeah, regions. There you go. Oop, a bit too fast. So this is where I am here, the Hornimus Delta. So this carrier I'm going to go to here has got um, Vista Genomics, etc. We can look around. Anywhere where it's got green, it's got a definitely got one. Yellow, I think it should have one. If it's red, it's unavailable. But I think nearly every region has got at least one carrier in it. Ediastro.com. This is the interactive map on there. You can't miss it. And then on the right hand side, where you got that drop down, you mouse over it, get like the little um, bit come up. So you can then do, you know, change the view. But you've got regions and DSS carriers, you've got star carriers, IGAU, several different types of carriers on there. Dead POIs, planetary POIs, planetary nebula, etc. Really cool little site. And if I turn that off again, you can see the travel maps of people. The red, you know, red of the colour. The busier it is, yeah. Oh, I know alcohol, cool. Handy to know that. But also, you can see where people have been drawing on the fucking map. <laughs> God, look at them. That's a new one. That's a new one as well, I think. I've not seen those recently. And um, you've got, you know, send nudes. That someone's trying to draw over. Someone obviously objects having a penis on the map. Like someone's drawing over that bit there. Be Harry Potter. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, people draw on the map. Okay. You can see where people have been doing like go uh, clusters of mapping there. See, little clusters around there. 
Oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a weird thing there. But like that like, like a death star type thing. There's another weird thing there. Another weird thing there. I'm gonna be people doing you know boxels or there. There's another little round sphere there. Something's over there. Over there. I guess that must be a nebula there, must possibly. Yeah, it's a nebula there, so yeah. You can see you can see where people have been going to and you know possibly why. Nice. We're going back to old Pepper if Pepper's still here. Excuse me. Um, right, we need the thingy jiggy. A few more funny goida. Cool. So I've, I've got another moon to do. I'll do it from the beginning so you see how I'm doing it. I'll go through it. If you've got questions, you can ask. You are inside the first sample range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are outside the first sample range. Looking for two more fun goida patches. There's one there to my left. I use EDHM, the HUD Manager program. That has a little plug-in you get with it, which lets you alter the colour of one of the biome shades. I have mine as red, so it stands out from the blue. And it can make it easier to see the various bios. You can also have a look in the old codex. And when you click on the bio, it can tell you, it gives you a bit of information about it. And sometimes it can give you an idea of where it might be. You can sometimes, you can see where it is on there. And you look at each different one, it tells you, show you what it looks like. It gives you a visual idea. And you've got that cactoid. Uh, If we look at, say, Fonticula. And then the old Electroli. Wake up. Shout out, oh, Alice, shout out Bio Insights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would highly recommend getting that if you don't have it already. Because when you FSS a system, it will give you an idea of what might be on the planets, how much they are. Oh, have a, have a good bit you do. Catch you later. If I don't see you before, cheers hanging out. See you another day. So when you FSS a body, it gives you a suggestion of what could be on there. It might be 100% accurate because there's only one bio and it'll be bacterium something. Or if it might be that there's four bios on that surface, but... You might have like a choice between six or seven of them, depending on the star type, etc. And it will also tell you how much it eats worth and how its colony range, etc. Very, very handy bit of software that Matt G's done, the plugin. So I know on the next one I'm going to, there's six bios on it, and there's potentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different biologicals. So two of those will disappear. Reset night vision. And it tells me that that planet will be worth between 17.4 and 48.1 million. You are outside the second sample range. Yes, it is. It, bio insights will also tell you when outside the colony ranges as well. Makes it easier to know how far you've travelled and stuff. Otherwise you could spend ages and ages and ages um, flying around and not looking, knowing where you are, as it were. Because each species has its own colony range. 
smaller bios will be you know 100 to 150 meters and it goes up to 200 300 500 800 a thousand pending go back this way maybe a bit the bigger the bio the bigger the colony range There's a patch there, but am I inside the colony range there? No, I'm not by the looks of it. And there he touches shields. Some are easier to find than others as well. It also depends upon the surface colour of the terrain. Some are more easily hidden within the, the actual colouration. But it just becomes easier over time because you get your eye in on it. And he, like I say, you develop tips and tricks of how to do stuff. Right, so I need to do F. F E F E F. -E -F. We are done, done, done on this moon. That's if I was well flying FL is interesting but crazy good fun. It's also a very good way of having your ship go kabloom. Not careful. How long have I been playing Lee? Um, Mako? Mm. Over 10 years. If you're talking about Elite Dangerous, if it's Elite, 40 odd years, give or take. Not all the time, obviously, but I played, I played the original and everything, so. Uh, uh, and hello, by the way. Nice to see you. To see you nice. Yeah, there's ways around that. You can change the gamma in the game or change the contrast of your monitor. Yeah, indeed. OG, man. OG. Yes, it can be very dicey with high G planets, especially if you've got weak thrusters and shields. There's... I never fly with the FA off, not in, when I'm doing exploration. If I'm doing combat, sometimes I'll do it, you know, to, to spin around or whatnot, but yeah. Yeah, my don't see, I've got five Ds, because I brought it, brought it down for the old low mass, low mass, high jump range. Ba -ba -ba -da -bum. They changed the times of my parcel delivery yet. Still half four to half six, so at least a minimum of an hour and a half before it arrives. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it does. That's for sure. Zoom. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's only DBX, yes, yeah. But I've never been a fan of the old DBX myself, so.
Boop, 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 boop. So obviously you know how to do the, the basics on the bios, I'm guessing Pepper. You know, does not you know, go through the whole kit and caboodle as it were. Do, 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 do. I'm missing my head now. I do. When you normally do the old FSS or the DSS, should I say in this case? Given the pain and the lack of internals make it a bit meh, yeah. If you're happy with it, that's all that matters. So here we've got, we've got bacterium, clypus, fungoida, hosea, stratum, tussock, yeah? If I get a bit closer, if I turn on the plug-in mode, or the combined mode. Turn the old camera mode and zoom in. If I turn it off. You see you've got the different shading colours. If I turn it on the combined mode, it changes the light blue to a red in this case. And if I do it again, it gets rid of the blue completely. It doesn't do it on every single species. So if I go back in here. On this case, it's going to do it. But sometimes you don't see any red at all because there's no light blue. But it just helps differentiate between the different terrain types. That's all it does. The bios could technically be anywhere in the blue colour, no matter what shade it is. So, if we go for Fungoida, for example, we get a bit closer. See, a lot of the Fungoida, especially likes the um, gelata, likes the rockier terrain. So if I go back into camera mode and zoom in, I'll put it into normal mode. You, you can maybe just see that there's that light blue in the middle. If we pop into... Actually, that might be Setis, actually. Um, the other one. What one is it? What species is it? Oh, this is Gelata. Okay, so this will like the sandier stuff, like the other one did, yeah? It's the Setis that prefers the rocky terrain. So there's no rocky terrain out here for it. We go back into Thimajiki. So that, that's where I would add for the Fungoida. And if I cycle through the filters again, the only thing that will be there is Fungoida. Everything else, the other the other five, are all in the same area. No, do catch you later. If I don't see you before, thanks hanging out. We'll catch you um, another day. We'll go for the fun grader first. Get that out of the way. We should only find fun grader in here. We shouldn't find anything else. Helps and that, having it that different colour helps aim for something. I've gone into the red areas before with things and not found a single bio of that species. Gone back up, gone into the other darker blue area and found it straight away. So, it's just the way it is sometimes. Ba, 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 da, ba. <laughs> That should be back soon, shouldn't he? I wonder if he's going to stream this evening or if he's had a, you know... Oh, it's now between four and six on the old um, Thimmy Jiggy, so... Okay, it's changing all the time. I don't know, from everything other than bacterium, I, I can put night vision on and that helps things stand out from the, the actual surface. You see little light, bright lights on the surface of the... Uh, planet or the moon and it just helps them stand out from the terrain especially things like Frutexa and Tussock and stuff. Frutexa is the worst because it's so wispy and so translucent you can literally walk over it and miss it still. And engage the old composition scanner so when you move your reticle over something it flashes which means you've got a target. And the other thing I do is I put four pips into systems and drop the landing gear, which brings my top speed down. 
but I can't go too fast. And I try to keep the speed relatively low, like 30, 40 meters per second. And then that, you know, anything below 100 meters on the ground. Hello, gorgeous. Uh, now is that is that Edward or Edward? I don't know, but thank you for your follow. Much appreciated. Look, if you want to chat, if you feel like it, welcome in, welcome in, and then use the external camera as a as a drone. You can zoom in, you can fly around, you can extend it forward, you can look around on the ground, zoom out a bit maybe. Ed Weird. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I'd like to try and get him right if I can. Let's see anything there. So when you just slowly fly along, you see me, my speed isn't particularly high. And hopefully we see some little bright lights on the ground, a little cluster of the fungoida. Yeah, it was the extra E at the end that threw me, I think. Ed Weird. Oh, welcome in, welcome in. G'day, g'day, g'day. Yeah, weird and wonderful. And don't forget to, you know, be afraid to stop again. Just have a quick look around again. Because sometimes you can see things through the camera that you wouldn't be able to spot because you're moving further forward and bringing in the draw distance. Change your perspective and go down onto the ground. I think it might stand out more. And it looks like something could be there, but that's a rock, I think. Yeah, it's a rock. The only things I should be finding down here is Fungoida. This DB go up back into orbit and come back down again. Now the package will be driving to 6 8 pm. Jesus Christ. So they got held up somewhere then by the sounds of it use. They got caught up in traffic or something. Or maybe they just fancy the kip in the van. Who knows? What do you do with all the things you print off, by the way, use? I mean, do you sell them? Do you give them away? What? I'm, I'm just being curious now, being a bit nosy. I'm getting hungry. So I'll put a shower by me in the apartment and do such a bad job. I have weird shit smelling room. Oh no, that's not good, dude. That's not good. If you can, is it, is it do you rent or do you, have you bought? Can you complain to somebody? That doesn't sound good, dude. Because that could be leaking, you know, possibly. If that's leaking, you're getting mould and rot. That could collapse your ceiling, dude, which is not fun. Oh, look, I just see something over there, I think. That caught my eye, I think. Did I see something? That my eye thing. That was tricking myself. Oh, there you go. On my right hand side. So, look, now I see the, the um, farm grader. Yeah, I know you said you're doing the, the actual drawers. Yeah, dude, that's leaking. You better go up there and have a word with him. Go up and have a word with them because if it's wet, that's rot, and you see it could collapse, and that would not be fun. Yeah, but it shouldn't be wet, mate. It should not be wet. So it sounds like their shower's leaking in from there into your ceiling, which is making your um the uh, ceiling wet. But yeah, you need to go sort it out, dude. You really do. We're in charge of the building or whatever. Go and have a word with them. Say, look. Not flooding, but if your ceiling's wet, then it's leaking. There's water coming in where it shouldn't be, isn't there? Oh, that's coming up in a sec. That's how, yeah, that's the fun guide. And it's basically just that with all of them, really. Use the camera mode, use night vision, etc. Oh, did you? Oh, no, not good, Walton. Not well, good. Not good at all. Hello, and how are you, by the way? Nice to see you. I would say hope things are well, but um, clearly they're not. Um, 
a soft pipe on the tub. Oh no, don't. Oh, did you get it sorted? It wasn't too bad, hopefully. Tucker's in the house. We've got a Tucker. Woo! Hey, Tucker. Hello, dude. Thank you for the lucky dudes you on the, the YouTube. You are outside the first sample range. Now I've got to find another two farm goida patches. Shouldn't be too bad. A shower's flooding. Yeah, well, that's leaking into your apartment, oh, dude. You need to get that fixed and sorted. I've had that happen to me, and it's not fun. Lost a lot of money to, to fix it and repair it. Oof. That's not too bad then. I hope you've got tiles in the kitchen or whatever. Don't really cause too much damage. Are you home yet, Tucker? Are you back home? Are you home safe and sound? Yeah, indeed, yeah. Well, there we go, another patch of fun goida. Turn off the night vision. You can see, you can see it, but you know, I like night vision because it makes it pop out. And I've got another patch over there as well. So we've got two patches of fun goida. That's the three I needed. Woohoo! All depends on how the buildings work. So if, it, if it's like a you know, rented accommodation or you have the building supervisor or something, I don't know. It depends where you are in the world. And who did the work? That's the other thing. Oh dear, coffee, coffee, cough, cough. How are they had to do in? Were they on yet? I start in a minute, okay. Yeah, well, you, you think it may be an old building, dude, but you know, it's, you shouldn't have to live with those those problems at the end of the day. If it's leaking, you need to report it to whoever is in, you know, in charge and get them to fix it. Because otherwise, your your roof could your could collapse in on you and hurt you. Yeah, not good, not good. I'm just going to make sure I get enough distance from that light over there, which I should do. should easily get enough distance. The other thing to bear in mind is when you're doing XOBio, is where you take the sample from is the zero point for the radius. So that way I'll take it there, will be the zero point for 300 metres. That's always important to know that when you're doing it. It doesn't matter if it's pre-old or not, you know. If someone's got a leaky shower that they fitted, then, you know, that could be fixed. And you shouldn't have the wet ceiling. You really shouldn't, dude. Not good for your health, for one thing. All the mould and everything else. And if they fix the problem, that's fair enough. But if it's going to be an ongoing thing, you need to get it sorted. I think it was over this way some, wasn't it? Wow. So use rent control then, I guess. But if you ever get a coming to sell it, it causes you problems. You are outside the second sample range. There you go, that's that one done. I don't know how much he's, um, he's hearing because it's on, on ads, so. I might be talking to you guys, but if, cause if uh, Pepper can't hear me, it's not much point me talking. Yeah, I thought you might have done. Not that you can hear me, obviously, because he's got an ad, so. <laughs> uh, I'll wait here till the ad's finished.
So I can see. Oh, look, there's three here, see? That's handy, Abby. We'll have to call it a day soon, though. That was really nice of you. Ah, oh, be lucky. Awesome, dude. Right, you're back, you're back, Pepper. Right, so Pepper, look, as you see here, I've got three patches of Frangoida all relatively close to each other. And when you take the samples, wherever you take that sample from, that's the zero point for the radius for that particular colony. So if I take it there, it's 300 meters from that point there. So I have to go to get the next one. But be careful of that as well. But that's the fun guide I've done. Yeah, mine says four to six, but mine's been swapping and changing all day too, mate. So. We'll go up and get the other ones now. Cookie, cookie monster, mm, cookie, ah, mm. Now we're going to go up and come back down again. No, no, about that. Good, good. Well, fingers crossed it gets sorted, dude. We'll, we won't bother badge you anymore about it, but fingers crossed. So now I've got the fun goid. I can now go and get the other one. So I need to go up, readjust the biome filter. But everything you should be in that area there. Double check it. Yeah. We're going to head down to that red area. I hope they do, mate. I hope they do. Yeah. Living farts that worries me. Oh, okay. Bonjour. Do you know the people upstairs? Do you get on well with them? Or do they rent? If you want to keep chatting about it, that is. Print the drawing closure. It took about three hours for the last one. It's sort of too easy time it takes. Ooh. Ah, okay, fair enough. I've got the night vision on. And have you spoken to upstairs about it? Have you said to him that your, your, your ceiling's wet and it smells like damp? Always pay attention to the gravity on the way down as well, because otherwise you could go boink. But I can see this bacterium, I can see stratum if I turn off light vision. Move it out a bit. I can see, look, there's, strat there's bacterium there, there's stratum there. There's most probably clypus there. And there's tussock over there. That's just using the camera from that high altitude, so. Once I can get the start painting and streaming it, then I will mostly end up painting or doing more printing. So there's Clypus there, Tussock, Bacterium, Stratum, Tussock, everything's around, you see. Go low to the ground, you can then use the camera like that, a little hover drone as it were. You can see everything around you. There's plenty of things around me. Welcome back, jump, welcome jump, back, welcome back. Now they actually improved the, the ability to do it. 
I have improved it because um, it was never meant to be done. And people were doing it, so they improved its um, ability to do so. Well, it should mostly be in the buggy, but hey ho. But some people worked out that it could be done, and then they actually did improve its uh, the, the algorithms or whatever for it. So, oh, Tucker's off, dirty lurky. I don't know if he spoke to me. I, I, I didn't see him speak, so. I might have said something, but I might have missed it. I did. Sorry, Tucker. Ah, don't worry about it, Tim. Man. Go and have a, go and have a sit down Tried or lay down something. Whatever. Is worth eight million four hundred and eighteen thousand. You've been credits. busy all day, dude. You've been out and about, driving the car and stuff, getting the shopping and whatnot in. Yeah. You know. What you said, it's going to um, take its toll on you. So go and have a lay down, I think, mate. If you need to, I'll be here tomorrow. You are outside the first sample range. I'll take this one here. That'll be the zero point for this particular colony. I have to find one more. I can get the... Um, is that way to here? I can get the uh, tussock, the tussicky wussock. That's number three. You are outside the second sample range. Ba 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 da ba da ba. Be quicker with the buggy, but you know, here's what it is now. Tusic Propagito is worth one million. And to go two meters from there. Get the next one and then rinse repeat. It's, 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 as I say, it's just really down to practice and then you know, we're learning where different species prefer. Osseus likes rocky terrain rather than a sandy terrain. So these little you bits have left here, the first sample range. that I'm standing on now, Osseus likes these, these little bits here, but they don't like the sandy ground. Do bacteria and stratum typically prefer flat sandy ground. Tussock prefers sandy ground for the most part. Some prefer the rocky terrain, same as Frutex, I prefer sandy or rocky terrain, depending upon the species. As That's one of those things you just get used to. Sometimes it throws me a, you know, a, a curveball and I spend ages looking for it and get ready to give up. And then sometimes it goes bing and appear. That's you those two done. the second sample range. Let's get the other ones. The stratum, the bacterium and the osseos. Because the stratum's nearby, I should grab that one first, I think. I thought there was a stratum nearby. Here's one over there. That's 24 mil for this planet. Thank you very much. Stratum Pales is worth 1,362,000 credits. Yay! Woohoo! Oh, 
The biggest problem you're going to have is you'll find something like Osseus whilst you've got something else in the chamber that you're getting. And in the case of, oh, right, where was Osseus? You have to, there's no way of knowing in game unless you write you down the coordinates and then guide yourself back to range. Them. There's no in-game way of marking um, latitude and longitude, which is why I write Hazel Nav. Do it for me. And it works very, very well. Right, off we go, down we get. And it's just patience then. It's purely down to patience. Yeah, I think we'll call it a day soon. Maybe, I don't know, maybe after this planet, this moon, maybe, we'll see. I'll be on tomorrow as well, and Friday, and Saturday, so. Long old days. But there's back to him there. But I can't pick up the back tier because I've got the stratum on me. You have left the second sample range. What I like to try and do is, if I can, finish one biological while I've got the next one close to me, like there. I've got stratum and bacterium. I can get the stratum and then walk over and get the bacterium and then get in the ship and carry on again. Just to make things a wee bit more efficient. Ear canal. Oh, take that to complete. Done. Ooh. Bacteria Morrisus is worth one million credits. Did I miss anything that Tucker said? Hopefully, I didn't. Let's go back here quickly. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, don't think I missed anything. No, don't think I missed anything, hopefully. Yeah. He popped in and then, um, yeah. Oh, there's difference. Hello, difference. Sorry, dude. Didn't see you there. Very difference. Welcome back, Catch. Welcome back. No, you didn't. Totally just busy. Cool. There you go. See? Thank you, dude. Thank you. Because I'm using the Restream chat window for OBS. Everybody's the same grey colour. So I can't, you know, it's, it's making it yeah, harder to differentiate between that. people speaking. Ash, good day, dude. How are you? You're well, you're good. Nice to see you. To see you, nice. Thank you for the sub, dude. Much appreciated. So um, the taxi duties have been completed, then, have they, Hatch? You are outside the first sample range. Now, Hatch, the question on everybody's lips. Is, well, it's actually two questions. There's one is, did you do any loops while you're out driving? And B, um, are you streaming this evening? Not bad, dude, not bad. How's you? Ash, how's you? Nice to see you again. Thank you for the resub, mate. You legend. Oh, did he? Uh, he's axe throwing. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't know he's doing axe throwing. Ooh, ah. Well, congratulations to El Cargo. Let's give him our, um, our uh, congratulations. 
That's, um, I think I wrote for Voice Attack, my little uh, AI called Hazel. Yeah, another reason not to mess with not only is he a black belt in martial arts, he's also a competition actor. You get other programs that do it like um, SRV Survey, ED, Copilot, Matt G's an excellent bow insights plug-in for ED. You have left cool. the second sample range. But nothing, when I was doing this, there was nothing else out there that did it, so I wrote my own. Why, be, me being clever, Welton. That's all I'm saying. It's one of those things I don't keep to myself. No, dude, no, dude, mate, mate. You should have subbed, dude. If you've got money for troubles, you shouldn't have subbed at all, mate. So, don't worry about it. If you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. I'd rather you'd kept the money, dude. I really wish you'd kept the money, mateys. You know, your money's more important to you than it is to me, so, you know. But fingers crossed you get back on your feet again and um, things go well for you, mateys. I've got the plugin that reads the journal files and I'll do some jiggery pokery inside it to um, do, do what I need it to do. Did I get that back to him or not? I don't know if I did. No, I don't think I did. Oh, dude. Well, never mind, never mind. No. Well, you know what you want to do then, Hatch? You want to give him some um, lessons on how to stack the dishwasher. What do you want to do, mate? Yeah, yeah, don't worry about that, dude. You can look after you first. The plugin reads all the journal files, which gives you loads and loads of information, including latitude and longitude. And then you just have to do some clever jiggery pokey wokey dokey. No. Well, he needs to learn, then, dude. He needs to learn. He set night vision. A crash. Um, crash. Hatch, even. Why was it crash? Hatch. Hatch, hatch, hatch. Are you streaming this evening, dude? You didn't answer the question. Going on about the dishwasher. But the Elite VA plugin is really, really handy if you're using voice attack and you want to do things in the, with the game code and stuff. Hang on a minute. Uh... So if I bring up the status file, for example. Uh, so you've got the status JSON file, but the plugin converts it into a text and it just puts everything into variables, either Boolean, integers, text, etc. No streaming, working on a bunch of stuff that I'd like to get done. That's still cool, dude. That's cool. Why is it taking so long to catch up? There you go. So yeah, so that's all the stuff that's in the, J in the status JSON. So as you do things, these will change in here. There's other ones for the other parts of the, the game files that they, they, they're fun to give us access to. It's a case of just doing stuff in voice stack with it. I find a thing with Jiggy there. I did. Back behind me. Damn it, Janet. Jason Statham. Jason. 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 Not Jason Statham. No, you have to write. It's, it's designed for voice attack. But a plugin is called Elite VA. That's designed to work with voice attack and only with voice attack. If you know what you're doing, you can read the JSON files yourself and write your own, your own application to do something. Things like ED Discovery, uh, ED Copilot, ED Core, anything that does things like that all reads things from the game files. You're welcome. You're welcome. The EDSM, um, EDMC, they read the game files. Or they connect to the Frontier API. Yeah, Eddie. Yep, yeah, EDDI. 
Osseus Pelibantas is worth 9,739,000 credits. But voice attack just gives me more flexibility. Because you can write your own you know, plugins for voice attack, you can write your own C code for voice attack. Yeah. No, ED EDOHM uses the same file data I'm using. It uses exactly the same files. It just does the engineering stuff more than then that's it, that's what it's designed to do. I've you have stuff. left the first sample range. It can tell you how many things you've got in your backpack, how many consumables you've got left, all that sort of thing. Like it to tell you, you know, if you're full up on your engineering stuff. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very, very powerful what you can do with it if you've um, got a bit of imagination. But I could technically recreate a lot of what's in uh, Odyssey Helper in, a, in voice act, but there's no point because EDO HM does it so much better. It's all nice and visual and stuff. But all the data is there to be used. It's just what you want to do with it. The stats on the on the top of the screen all pull from um, the game using a plugin and voice attack. There's another one. Back in it, back in it, back in it, back in it. Also, you need to test your variant thing, you don't you hatch? Test your variant thing, which you get using a flip, what you would call it. You clearly didn't think. <laughs> Gave him last year's calendar. <laughs> oh dear. Well, look at that. I say, dude, been a while. How are you? Thank you for the, the sub, dude. Much, much appreciated. You're legend. You're really subbed. Oh, thank you. How you been? You well? You good? Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. We're going to be raiding soon, because I'm going to be calling it a day, because it's been a long one. That's what she said, for half an hour. Nicky Dibu, awesome, awesome, cool. Cool beans, cool beans. We're going to get this last buy, and I think we're going to raid um, Rain Man. Give the Rain Man some lovings, as it was. They've got time management, apparently. What do you mean, not Rain you have Man? Left the second sample range. What's wrong with old Rain Man? I'll tell him that. I'll tell him. He's been copying all our ideas for voice attack, dude. Welcome back, Alex. Welcome back. Hello. Good day. Need one more Osseus. Yeah, he, he asked me stuff how to do stuff, and I'm, I, I oblige him when I can. Missing components to display like in our... Uh, it does. It does have missing components, as it were. I don't know. I, I don't know, has he? When you say missing components, how, what do you mean by missing components? Because you can tell, it, it can tell you how many you need to get. Harry, good day, dude. Um, I haven't seen you in a long time, Harry. Do I even know who you are, Harry? Did you change your name? Because the name doesn't ring any bells. Not me, Daddy. Harry! When you say in terms of match trading suggestions, Ow. Ow. So that works from, from YouTube, which is amazing. Quite clever that it works from, from YouTube. Uh, oh, well, I'll have to snooze here. It's going to be going to go raid Rainy Man. Uh, I'll have to do a quick um, raidy poos. I can go do some dinners. 
Like I say, I've been there two or three times only. Oh, oh, vaguely, vaguely remember, but yes, vaguely, yes. Sorry, I've slept since then. Apologies. Yep, I've been doing some exo bios. Boss, yes. Vaguely rings a bell. I slept since then. You need this, but I have X of uh, the match you can trade for what you need. Um, what I mean, because you can do that with the bartender thingy in Odyssey, but um, just a tuna salad, nice and easy peasy. Don't know about with the material traders if you're talking about that, so. But we're going to call it a day there, peeps. We've made 200 million credits and we've done 31 bios. Uh, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. I broke the 200 million. Woohoo! But yes, we're going to go raid old Rainy Man, um, the Rain Man himself. Because he's trying to make it as a full time streamer, so, you know, all the views and that help. When we get over there, don't forget, um, either hit the F5 button or click on his name twice to get rid of the raid referral link at the top. But we're going to raid the old Rain Man. I'm going to do the old end credits. But thank you everyone for hanging out today, you absolute legends. Thank you so very, very much indeed. We've got some wee subs there. AC, Ash, Rune, Tin Man. And we've got some ways as well. No ways. Welcome. Thank you everyone for coming in today and hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow, 9am BST, more of the same. Ray there from Nikki, from Awesome, Wild well Danny, you legends. We've got some new followers there. I'm not going to read everybody out. And we've got the lovely subscribers, new and old. Look at that, all of you on that, that big list of lovely subscribers. Next time we catch more of the stream. If you do, how you do, if you don't, you don't. I'll be on Wednesday, Friday and Saturday, 9am BST on here and on YouTubes. Check the tweets. Check me a sub on YouTube if you feel like it. All those lovely subs there. Bless you. ba ba da ba da boom. But we're going to go Raid the Rain Man. Whatever you're going to do, have a good if i don't see you before have an awesome weekend another pro streamer effort in my opinion <laughs> right well i'll catch you in a bit hats most probably but yeah have a good one peeps take care toodles <laughs>